don't show up for anybody that pops in anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, if they pop good. in on their computer, it will. If they uh, are on their phone, it will not. Okay, I got gotcha, so you. I got you. Um, we should be good though. We should be live here. Um, just do a little soundtrack like always. But uh, I'm alive. Well, I want to suck your blood. Do you think? You think? Uh, you think? Um, do you think uh, vampires uh, discriminate on blood type like the Japanese? Yeah, I think they do. I think there's probably yeah. some. I don't know if vampires are racist, but they definitely got like a. Do you think they'll drink gay people's blood? Gay people's blood? I mean, that's a right. That's a thing. Gay, like gay, gay people would get denied for like blood donations, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, oh, because they, like, like, they, they people thought they might have AIDS or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably vampires. Do you think vampire, right? There's a bunch of homophobic yeah, vampires yeah. that won't eat gay people. Why not? Yeah, I guess I could see that. I don't know. Like uh. a lot of a lot of fundamentalist Christian vampires. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, isn't that, that just like most a... fundamentalist Christians? What are vampires? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Are they? Well, they, mean, all, they, they all drink the blood of Christ, right? That is true. That, they that, do be drinking. They do point. be drinking Christ's blood. That's, that's a Have good you guys point. ever heard about how hard it was for uh, Christian missionaries to talk um, like Polynesian tribes out of cannibalism after they explained what Christianity <laughs> was? <laughs> and they were like, they were like, you can't eat people. And it's like you eat your God. And they're like, well, it's different. And it's like you eat the flesh and blood of your God. And they're like, yes, but it's not okay to eat people. <laughs> yeah, I think there's something not quite right about that, dude. I mean, just given, yeah. I mean, like, could you imagine, like, right after that rundown, and just be like, but don't eat the flesh and blood of anybody but Christ. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, I think the Catholic Church was probably my gateway drug into cannibalism. Was so? it? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, because I mean, I went to Catholic shit. I don't know, man. I never, yeah, I never <laughs> ate one of them wafers and was like, can't wait to eat a guy. <laughs> Hope they taste like this. <laughs> I don't know. Some of those wafers are pretty good. Are they? Yeah, I've had some good ones. The human wafers? Have you? <laughs> no, he's talking about the, the, communion, the wafers. communion wafers. Step back, fool. I don't like your tone. Do uh, he's bitching about some woman. Uh, so he's just bitching about another human he just ran into that was super rude. Which okay. also happens to be Bastila's mom. Oh, sweet. So is this like an alien Karen? She's a Helen. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that like the Pokemon evolution? Like, is Karen? Oh, yeah. The, the, some, so she's somewhere in there. Susan, Karen, Helen, I don't know. <laughs> is that is that in the hierarchy of like bitchy white lady names? Uh... I feel like I've met enough. I feel like I've dealt with some Susans. Have you dealt there's with some, some Helens Susans? out there, too. There's some Helens, there's too. Some Helens. There's some Helens. Yeah, yeah, I feel okay. like there's some Susans. Well. Who is this one? Did you just make us watch? Crystal with a K, man. That's a suspect name. That's a suspect, yeah, that's that's true, a suspect yeah. name. That's, that's true. Especially name. if their middle name is Methany. Yeah. Methany? Yeah, for name. <laughs> Crystal <laughs> Methany. That's a real person. That's a real person, yeah. <laughs> what? Dude, yeah, I saw that. No, was it in a mugshot? There's, there's no way yeah, somebody's that? name is Crystal Methany. That was fucking real. Crystal Methany? Yeah, it was in Florida. No, oh, that, okay, I believe it, no. Crystal <laughs> That changes will... everything for me, the fact <laughs> that it was in Florida. You guys remember those people who were high on Crystal Meth and locked themselves in, like, a school supply closet? And, like, were in there over a weekend and had begun to starve? And then when they were discovered, the door was unlocked? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even try the fucking door? Actual fucking mugshot and crystal methany. Crystal, That's her. Crystal methany. She got she got meth spots on her mouth. She never had a chance, dude. No. <laughs> That's messed up. Why would you name your kid that? That's like that lady who named her kids Orangelo and Lamangelo. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> yeah, some lady named her kids Orangelo and Lamangelo because what? while she was at the hospital, they served her orange and lemon jello. Wow, that's that's, that's great. Wow. That's a great system. You know, you know what else though? Do you do you know do you know about the people that named their kids? There's a couple, and they named their kids Molly and Famali. <laughs> Famali? Yeah, Molly and Famali. Think about what letters would spell that out. Try and really think about that for a second. Molly, M. Yeah. A. <laughs> okay. L. E. Oh, male and female? Okay. Because the hospital put it on the little wristbands, so the people thought that the hospital named their kids Molly and Smolly. 
And they just went with that. They're like, yeah, yeah. all right, the hospital can name our kids. Yeah. Don't give a fuck. They did. And then there was Dweezil and Moon Unit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Moon Unit, wasn't that... <laughs> that was that like was Frank six... Zappa's kid or something, yeah, yeah. wasn't it? Who's Moon? Yeah. Was that who that was? was? Was it... Oh, no, Sarah Palin named her kid Trigonometry, Yeah, that was right? Trig, yeah. Yeah, Trig. Trigonometry. Is, it, is his full... I know his name well, is Trig. I, I figured I it was for Trigger because I don't think I she was... I, I, I put trigonometry above. I don't like, think she could pronounce trigonometry. Level. Yeah. Well, she tried to, and trig was all they could uh, get. Yeah, out. Yeah. I, I figured that had something to do with guns. But. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be trig based on trigonometry. I, I could be wrong. Triangle? Not that she understood <laughs> what it means. She just probably liked how it sounded. Like how it sounded. Yeah. Sure. That's probably. I, I. Okay, but seriously, Ulysses. What is this cryptocurrency video that you just well, made? Well, I, yeah, I, I, think land. Land. I think you guys should take some guesses about it. Tell me what you think it is. Uh, propaganda? <laughs> it's gotta what, be though? some metaverse garbage. It, say, it seems, it, uh, that is kind of my first thought, is it seems like something from the metaverse. Like metaverse trash. Okay. Like, 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 uh, so you can buy, you, you can buy land in crypto land. You can. One of 60 parcels. Yes. Okay. So, what it is... Is it's this couple that came up with it, I guess, and their plan—they haven't actually done this yet—is they're going to buy an island out in the middle of like the Pacific. And right now, even though they don't actually have the land yet, you can send money to them to reserve one of these sixty parcels for yourself. A digital land. Oh no, it's real land. But it's also. But they haven't bought it yet. But they haven't bought it yet. But it's also a digital version instead. The way it works is you buy land that is also jacked into the metaverse. Okay, so the land, so the, 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 the property in the metaverse is tied to an actual piece of property, and you're yes. getting both at the same time? If, if you're one of the Theoretic, first people to get in. Theoretically, they haven't even bought the island yes. yet. But you can send them okay, but Okay, but my question is, so is the island going to look like... The the metaverse thing, or is this an island? They're like you technically own a piece of this island, and then here's what it could look like if we were gonna pour literally any money into this, and then they'll make a virtual reality. This is what they want it to look like. Why do you need a virtual <laughs> reality version of some shit they're going to make in real life? So that people who don't live on the island can participate virtually with the people who do live. Why would How you need to fun? participate virtually? If you own the part of the island, and then if you own the part of the island, you cannot participate virtually because well, you, you have can. to own. You can you can, you can participate. Stay at home. No, then, I understand that, but you well, have you to own. You, want, you right? have to own a piece of the island right. to be able to access the virtual reality no, 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 version. No, 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 no. You can you can access it without owning a piece of the island. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. So okay. for, okay. there's a lucky few who spend millions of dollars to live on this island. Okay. And then anybody else can just pop in into the metaverse. This shit's going to turn out like that fire festival, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> well, that's what it's being compared to. <laughs> it sounds like it. Yeah, it's it's being widely considered a scam. I should tell you everything first before we start. Yeah, it sounds like a scam. I, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's... All of this, all the, of this... Based on the quality of the animation yeah. of that video, it's a scam. <laughs> Yeah, that was like some Amway Global like pyramid scheme advertising. It looked like an asylum. <laughs> it did. It did. It looked bad. Like they, they, whoever made that is giving asylum a run for their money. Yeah. So so you gonna sign up, Ulysses? No, I thought you guys might want to though. I think I'll up. think I'll pass the metaverse. I'm very skeptical of any of those cryptocurrencies you, you, right now. They all look. Works, they all I look like. Still don't they want all to look like scams. Oh man, the way of the future. Right? Well, it's scams. The zoomers. Are the, way of the, future. the zoomer. I agree with that. The zoomers can go live in the computer if they want to. Yeah, I'm too much of a luddite to like give my entire life oh, to virtual reality. Oh, they are. Soon you're not going to have a choice, man. Yeah, you won't be able to leave your house. Holocron? That's coming, dude. That's the next variant. Yeah. Holocron. <laughs> holocron. <laughs> the holocron variant. I mean, it's holocron in, in Star Wars, holocrons yeah, I know what are supposed to be. Do you know? No. It's like a little, it's almost like a USB drive. No. Oh, okay. Like a, just like a little data thing. So we're calling those in the future? That's what Jedi call. Yeah, why don't you get the point is so they can shove them up their ass. Do <laughs> uh, you think lightsabers have like a, an ass setting? What? Do you think lightsabers have an ass setting? Like where you set it so like they're not so 
Uh, they don't so like they could shove the fucking light beam up their ass yeah, and yeah. cauterize their asshole. Well, you, I think you. I think. I think he's heat. saying there'd be like like a safety. Yeah. For for the blade for the blade. So How'd that you know you my could... safe word was lightsaber? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are lightsaber dildos out there. Oh, I definitely, one hundred percent. Yeah, there's probably people having fucking sword fights with them too. <laughs> <laughs> Or does it go up the loser's ass? Anything to do with what she's asking. I don't know. Or does it go up the winner's ass? Yeah, is that a punishment or a reward? No, I, I genuinely <laughs> don't know. <laughs> I ask that about a lot of things these days. I feel like it's not a good state of mind to be in, when you can't tell. I can't tell a lot of things anymore. <laughs> I don't even know what satire is anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like satire is an outdated concept. Yeah, reality has just become satire of earlier years of reality. Yeah. I know Elon Musk went on that Babylon B uh, podcast or whatever. God. And they, uh, oh. the people there were yeah, like, the, the people Solomon. there were like, we started a actual news website so that when reality, who sorry, who did you know that the Babylon Bee is or whatever? Uh, I've heard that it's name. like, it's like a right wing version of the onion, I guess. Oh, okay. But they were like, they were like, when reality becomes too ridiculous for us to make fun of it anymore, we're just going to start reporting on the actual news. <laughs> 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 and, and that point hasn't, are you telling me that point hasn't already come? Oh, I, I don't know how to read some of the headlines. Like, I mean, it used to be funny when people mistake The Onion for, like, real headlines. Now I can't even really blame yeah, people. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah like, well, that's the thing is I think the people at The Onion now are having a really hard time even thinking of stuff to, to make that's funny that, but isn't real. That isn't real, yeah. Right. Like, how, how, much further, harder, how much further do you take it? Because, I mean, The Onion has always <laughs> done shit where it's, like, just believable enough, but also silly. Yeah. And now now everything has to be, like, Satan returned to Earth to, like, <laughs> I mean, like, something that truly you wouldn't... Yeah, let him deal with him, dude. I hate me some Jawas. Shut up, Bastila. <laughs> See, the Jawas are going to lead us to the dark side, dude. <laughs> That's what Basila said. I think she was saying that about you killing them. Uh. Well. Yeah, we points. got dark side points just from having a conversation with a job. No, we got dark side points from <laughs> threatening him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that wasn't just a conversation. <laughs> there was some threat going on. Because we rescued the ones inside yeah. the Sand People Enclave. And um, then sent them to their deaths, right? Or did they survive? Well, no, they, I do think they survived, but then that was the guy we talked to for a war, ah. but then we were able to threaten him for more, and oh. then that allowed us to get dark side points. Alex, <laughs> even though we saved them. Alex, are you so biased still... against Jawas due to their superficial resemblance to gnomes? Is that is that why you're suspicious of them? No, dude, this is like, I mean, like... I mean, come on, man, they're short, they got pointy headdresses... They probably got beards under there. They do look like little Achilles cutters, though. Yeah, dude, True. you think they're not going to go <laughs> slash at your fucking tendons, dude? Do you think that about gnomes? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they just covered someone's agenda. Yeah, it seems like so. You don't think a gnome will fucking cut you in the shin, dude? I mean, a gnome hasn't yet. It's going to happen, man. <laughs> I think it's going to go somewhere else there's already a hole. Oh, yeah? I mean, I'm not Alex, all right? No, um, oh, no, not to you, to him. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. It doesn't, it doesn't need a knife, man. There's a hole there. <laughs> <laughs> it just needs a fist. God. Uh, would, would a gnome, would getting fisted by a gnome just feel like a human penis? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I like that this is already <laughs> How are those things supposed to walk like that? Really good problem. No, that's that's uh, that's just the janky 2003 ness of it. <laughs> I, I feel like I have to see these things in other Star Wars media just to be sure. I don't even know where else they they are, to be honest. They're on the Boba Fett show. No. no gotta watch more of that show, man. Uh, so far, I've just watched that first episode, and it was pretty bad. <laughs> Dude, oh, I, uh, dude, I saw a clip from the third episode, and I my started, dad, my so, dad really likes it. So, dude, somebody walks into Boba Fett's like throne room and literally looks at him, and goes, "You know, nobody respects you, right?" <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That was like the actual line of dialogue. Dude, why are these things so tough? All of a I've now watched all three episodes. Oh yeah, you had to watch it with him. Yeah, How was my it? dad's a big oh, fan of it. Um, you know, the first episode is really, really stupid. Um. 
Yeah, Boba Fett basically comes in and like. Did you join the Power Rangers in episode two? That's episode three. That's, oh, that's Power Rangers. The second episode actually wasn't too bad. The second oh, episode yeah. really. Se- no, the second episode Dude, the second really. Second episode se- put. A, he, <laughs> they used the fucking same. Uh, uh, I mean, I know I haven't watched it, but they yeah. used the same framing device where he just gets the shit beaten out of him again and has to go <laughs> back into the tank to have flashbacks. Two episodes in a row. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> that was kind of dumb. But the second one was actually interesting. They did a they did a good job making like the Sam people a little more interesting, um, and like uh, you get you get a little bit of like their culture and something. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible, dude. And then the third one was fucking ridiculously bad with the stupid fucking Power Rangers, dude. Uh, would you say that third episode is worse than the first one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I only yes. watched the first one and yeah. had literally no interest in watching it. Yeah, more. yeah. The, 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 the third, you think this could the third one was those, horrible, dude. You think this could be one of those things that branches <laughs> out to, like, so bad it's funny, like, if you watch it with a group? Me and Michael um, did laugh at it because we watched that first one together, but I don't know about the other two. Uh, you know what? I just, I don't, I mean, at a certain, there was a moment towards the end of that third episode where it really felt even more, it felt more like Captain Planet in a way <laughs> than it even felt like Power Rangers with the fucking stupid kids on their... It's never what you want to hear. No. Bright colored fuck. I mean, I, yeah, I, I might not have watched the episode, but I did see... They're stupid little fun. bikes. <laughs> yep, they're stupid little bikes. Dude. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, it was bad, dude. These aren't just raids, these are Hulak raids. Maybe that makes a difference. But that's probably, that must be why they're tougher, yeah. I don't know what the fuck that means, but... They yeah. came from the Gulag, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Hulaks, not Hulaks. Well, I mean... It's they fun. are just fucking hideous creatures, dude. I've seen other creatures from that. I mean, it's not like they're old for people. <laughs> you say, Ella, are you shaming elephant seals? Yes, I am shaming elephant seals. Body shaming elephant seals. Yeah, I'm calling them out. Why are you body shaming them, man? Uh, have you ever seen one? You know, have you ever seen, um... These raids, Scrotum dude? livers? <laughs> yeah. Scrotum livers is what we yeah. decided they looked like last time. Scrotum time. livers. Yeah, we were, we were... Sage said they look like... Uh, uncircumcised penises. You said uh, they look like I livers. said they look like livers. So <laughs> livers and legs. Like livers with foreskin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's not something that should exist. I definitely think livers should not have foreskin. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Uh, I'm not sure this is gonna work. There's still two of these things. If we had higher computer use, would be all right, right? No, that's, that <laughs> wouldn't help. You could hack these things. Yeah, though. man. I actually learned hack, that hack the animals. Yeah. No. I learned that from that Cryptoland video that a seagull stealing your USB stick is the same as hacking. Yeah. Oh. That's what hacking is. That's what hacking oh, is. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's when a bird steals your money. Well, then it should be like we should be putting our points into like birds or something. <laughs> There was that meme going around a while, for a while that birds don't exist. Well, I mean, that was an intentional, um, like, make fun of conspiracy theories. Yeah. Kind of yeah, no, it was just a meme. But. Right. You can never be too sure. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you can, uh, if you're interested in Cryptoland, you can buy some NFTs right now. They all have, uh, the different collectible Dude, versions of that talk, tiny character. Don't talk to me about fucking NFTs. I mean, you, sh- you should buy them. They got the little the coin dude on them. There's like, like, like 30 different unique ones. The number, the number of people who have no idea what, I don't know, like how, like what value is, like how, how I things, don't know what value how things, <laughs> how things appreciate in value or like what makes things appreciate in value. Now just buying useless crap, yeah. especially these NFTs, man. There are people like no, they're the sketching. future, man. Dude, there are people. Look. There are people sketching, just random garbage. They're selling these bored apes. Yep. Some guy got his fucking sold half of his liver. <laughs> like, like what? literally sold half of his liver to buy one of those bored ape yacht club NFTs. That's a good deal. <laughs> That's a good deal. <laughs> yeah, man. Have you ever gone to a grocery store and seen how much livers are worth? He got a, he got that shit for cheap. Yeah, dude. Just a picture of an ape looking like. Just, just interested. Those uh, things are so not ugly. even good drawings. Those things are so ugly. That's what I'm saying. It's not even good art. Like, no, it's not. 
think. You know, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I don't understand the NFTs for the purpose of collectibles yeah. at all, really. Our harder collectibles. Collect all hundred feathers of Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Those are the people who buy Honestly, it. just sink your money into Pokemon cards. You'll get a better investment. Like that. I mean, NFTs is not a bad idea. Having a non-fungible token to represent some, like a physical item or something, or to represent ownership of property or something. Those are all great ideas, dude. But for like art. I don't get it. I don't understand. Well, they want it to just represent. Yeah. Well, there are some things that it would be convenient for it to represent, you know. But. Diane. Or... It is. She, I mean, she's real. Also, she's, yeah, she's a tiny, tiny cat. Yeah, How old is she? She's uh, just over four months old. She looks good. Oh, you're the sweet little kitty, though, aren't you? God, you gonna... Hello, Cayenne. <laughs> Very sweet. Oh, there she is. God damn it, okay. There we go. Wow, that was fucking... That was not... That was way harder than these things were before. Like well, these, are the the -lock. these are the Hulak ones. Whatever the hell that means. Yeah. Alright, so what are we doing out here? Uh, we're trying to go find the Holocron. Because Bastila's dad died, and it's like all that's like all that's like left of him, or whatever. And the mother is dying, no, okay. and she wants us to go find it. It's supposed to be by like out, 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 like right outside, or maybe even in the Crate Dragon Cave. Oh, so we're okay. just gonna go. Sure. I mean, we don't have to do too much to just kind of run over there and check it out again real quick. Okay. So when we find it, can we break it? <laughs> I don't. I'm sure we could try and like hold it over her head and threaten her for for something. That's a good idea. You guys hear that we uh that they found some weird stuff on Mars? No, what they find on find Mars. Weird. I mean, it's not really like weird, weird, but unusual scientific properties. Let's put it that way. Okay. Because, uh, they found uh, particular Oops. Um, ratios of carbon twelve and carbon thirteen that are uh, that don't really make sense given uh, the assumptions we have about Mars and its history. Okay. And so there are a bunch of different theories about about why these ratios are the way they are. Okay. But among them... Hey, Hot Papa just raided us. Sweet. Hey, thanks oh, for the raid. Hey. But it's theorized that this could be a sign of Mars having once had life. Okay. okay. Because uh, we have fossils on Earth that show like this kind of carbon ratio from a time when we know that like bacterial mats were living on like on, like the, the sea floor, old mats were living on like, okay. the sea. So huh. in theory, okay. this could be a sign that there were there was something living on ancient oceans on Mars. God, Ooh. I would love to see what that looked like. That'd be like. pretty cool, dude. It NASA might not be that though. NASA was bringing in like priests and shit like last Priests. month Priests. yeah and, and like to, for nasa yeah asking to mars no asking them like you, what are them? <laughs> no they were asking them like what the implications of like finding life would be and like how to explain that to people and like, shit, like that. religious people yeah basically like like that what are we going to tell people if we find aliens so i was like that's weird but yeah, they had they had like priests and religious figures or something come to NASA and discuss like what are we gonna tell people if we find aliens, you know? That's crazy. The fact that they're having to have like official conversations about that is kind of nuts. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, but, hey, but who knows, man? Maybe that has uh, something to do with that Mars shit. That's that's true. Hey, welcome in, Raiders. Yep. Uh, if you haven't been here before, this is Rated M for Immaturity. We just talk a whole bunch of shit and play a bunch of games. Yeah, we're playing Kotor. Apparently, there's some some. Life on Mars or something going on now? Theoretically. The there theory, could be. I'm not, I'm not hey, gonna, there's the holocron. There we go. Cool. I'm that not going to jump to assumptions here. Well, you know, but I mean, it's like, I mean, crazy. It's, it just sounds better. It's crazy that we're even having a conversation about it, you know? Yeah. About there being a possibility of life on Mars or having been. Well, I know they... So we got Hot Papa, the Hammer of Fury in here. We got Dark Cat 42. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got a Dark Cat right here. That's true. We got a oh, she's a little baby kitten snuggled in between you guys. Yeah, that's adorable. Tiny kitty. She's freaking cute. Mm -hmm. oh, the other cat's been treating her. Biscuit and Cayenne uh, get along very well. Um, Gravy still does not like Cayenne, uh, <laughs> but she's you know she's not like super mean to her. She's just like avoiding her. 
Yeah, she's just like, meh. Huh? Dark Cat <laughs> also has a dark cat. Oh, hey, look at that. Is that where the name came from? We're, we're, uh... Well, I think literally all of us have cats, so yeah. This is, yeah. This is definitely cat people on this channel. Yeah. Yep. Is it a, is it like a black cat or like a tabby cat or the name came first and the cat came second? Well, I mean, I guess oh, it's faded go. to be. Yep. What is, uh, is that a bantha out there? No, those were actually in the original uh, movies too. These like lizard things. Dewbacks. Dewbacks. I guess, yeah. They're not, they're not aggressive though, so Can we lick the dew off its back? I don't want Michael to. Might. <laughs> Michael might. Michael might want to. Do you think there's a dew back flavored Mountain Dew? I think that's a medical condition, dude. You drink, do you drink, you drink too much dew and you just, you get, just get hunched get... over like Quasimodo. It could be. Little drips. Do you eventually of... turn into a lizard? You get dew back. Do you sweat dew, Mountain Dew out of your pores on your back? Ew, dude. Is, is that yeah. where lizard people come from? Oh, it's just the black cat? That's awesome. Where lizard people come from? Yeah, if you drink too much Mountain Dew, you turn into a space lizard. Is that what? Is that how that works? I don't know, man. I think you just get like... Do you like, think that's how the lizard from Spider-Man? Like that is definitely how that works. Yeah. It's just Mountain Dew-based origin story. Well, he just wants to make everybody a lizard safe. Yeah. yeah make well, Michael wants why everybody to drink Mountain Dew, so that's kind of similar. Yeah, Michael's the lizard. I, so he's the, he's the doozer. What's what's <laughs> the, the new what's the new Mountain Dew flavor that Michael's drinking right now? Well, the last one he tried, and he tried it on the stream. Uh, that was ginger the gingerbread flavor. Like, that ginger, sounds yeah. awful. Like dude. gingerbread house, like gingerbread <laughs> candy flavored. That Mountain sounds Dew. terrible. I'm sorry, but that's man. just not a soda flavor. <laughs> well, they they fucking forced it to be one. Gingerbread's already like spicy cardboard. Like I mean, like, <laughs> it's, it's not even good on its own. So spicy cardboard flavored Mountain. <laughs> Dew is essentially Yum. what you got. Ugh. Would you eat a dew soaked chunk of cardboard? Like if somebody put no. cardboard? No, you wouldn't drink I mean, that. Maybe no, if I, I lived in North Korea. Nah, even then, man, I, I still wouldn't do it. Yeah, that's pretty gross. I, I, I literally would rather starve. <laughs> I will eat my I literally will eat my own face first. I'd pay good money to I'd pay good money to watch you eat your face, Sage. Well, I'm not you should actually, do it on stream. <laughs> yeah. You should eat my face on the stream? Yeah, I think you get a lot yeah. of views. I don't, I don't think that that would... I think, I think the viewers would love to see that. I'm dude. pretty sure that would violate you Twitch's so terms many of service. Yeah, dude. You think so? Yeah. How many people in chat would subscribe if I ate my face? <laughs> 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 You'd be like Mason Verger. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> All right, so what are we trying? We're telling her yep, we, we found we, the holocron. We found a new variant. Yeah. Yeah, she's just itching at us before we even get into it. Can we, like, just throw it on the ground and stomp on it? Grind it beneath our heel? You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt I mean, she's, just, she's got a Karen for a mom. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi, even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. Let's give it back to her, her mom. Strange way of remembering Should we? Things. Yeah. So while... Well, yeah, I give it back to... What? This is a piss basketball off. Right. But I also think that that would be like the light side thing to do. Do you, like convince, do you really well, need like the holocron basketball? Well, it's like convincing her to like make up with her mother, right? Uh, By giving I, I bet we just rip it out of basketball's yeah. hands and be like, here you go, bitch. Just throw it on the <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's like, it, I, you, it would, I'd like for it to be that aggressive. All right, well, you know how to piss basketball off better than we do, so just do that. Um... I just don't want to do it because it's light side, though. So yeah, I get that. I know, sure, I know. Yeah, so, fine. again, whatever is dark side and would piss basketball off. You missed it. We befriended the Sand people. Did yeah, all their quests them, right? and then we yeah, massacred them. The, no, I was there. Oh, yeah, you were there. Yeah, you were in the, you were in the, the chat. chat. That's yeah. right. We're, uh, by the way, we are playing a full dark side, e all evil choices playthrough for this game. Because we are evil, evil people. So, I mean, the, the dark side option here is to just ha let Bastila just keep it. You can be, you know, oh, this is pushing Bastila closer to the dark oh, really? side a little bit. Is it? I thought well, you said they don't move, though. Not in their actual alignments, but, like, in terms of, like, story, like, dialogue, oh, okay. they may be still... I mean, look at Zalbar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zalbar just was, like, all of a sudden okay with selling his own species into slavery, so... Yeah, that was interesting. Can we get it Karth? Dark. Can we get Karth on the dark side? Karth, I... Karth cannot be convinced to go to the dark side. What? 
That but you'll like what me. we you'll you'll like how Karth uh, resolves at the end of at the end of the game. I hope something bad happens. Can to he kill him. himself? I, I'm just not even gonna say anything and let it be a surprise because I do think you'll enjoy. it. Hypothetically, could we turn HK to the light side? No, <laughs> you know, he, he, is <laughs> he seems he seems pretty entrenched. He's set in his ways. Yeah. Okay, he's very set in his ways. I think a light side playthrough of HK would be fun. He does fucking bitch at you a lot about how he wish he wished you were making different decisions. <laughs> That's pretty funny. When we do the remake, we will do light side. We'll do a light side sure. playthrough when the remake comes out, and then we'll we'll like bring HK with us for for like all those light side choices and shit. Those, whatever they're called, the tall things, like the giraffes with the goofy fucking ears. These things? <laughs> yeah, those. Ki those are kind of cute, to be honest. Rontos. Rontos? Those are kind of You like cute. the Rontos? As far as Star Wars. As he far looks as... like Gonzo, dude. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's got like a weird fucking face, dude. He does look weird. Gonzo has yeah. a weird face, but that's not, that's nah, not a Gonzo. Wow, well, like. whatever. That's a, it's, yeah. <laughs> Gonzo's weird, don't get me wrong. But... Yeah, I like Rontos. They're cute, just like the Jizkos. Yeah. I'm not gonna correct you anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? I said I'm not doing it. Well, correct me on what? I'm not. No, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna do it though. You have a problem with the word jizka? I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing. It. I'm not giving in. All right. So, so where are we going now? So we're gonna, Manin, we're gonna Manin. mop up. Um, we're gonna mop up some side quests. Okay. Hey, computer, computer use. Computer use. How'd Persuade get up to nine? Have you been yeah. wasting points on Persuade? That's like we need the most <laughs> thing, dude. How are we going to persuade computers if we can't use them? Yes. It's not a, uh, Put it in repair, fine. I guess if we can fix HK or something. Okay. Still feels like a wasted point. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like a wasted point. Yeah, well, we're not going to have enough points to get max computer use in this game, are we? Yeah, I think we're going to run out of time before we have max computer I use. I don't even know that there is a max. What, so it just keeps going up? Unlimited computer use? No. Imagine how powerful that <laughs> yeah, would be. Yeah, that's a lot of power, There's dude. no such thing as a... Okay. <laughs> Unlimited <laughs> computer use, dude. Like, like I feel like if, dude, if, if you... Dude, we could... It, we'd be like... Uh, we'd be like the computer in war games. Dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think it would unlock like a skill where it would be like those 90s hacker movie where you just whip out a laptop and hit three buttons and you just instantly yeah. do whatever you want. We'd turn into Matthew Broderick. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> is that what that's what happens turn that happens when you get max computer use dude do you Why want to don't... play a game <laughs> <laughs> all right i mean i didn't know that i guess but... well you know oh, somebody he hanging up. oh yeah old guy all right so yeah we're gonna mop up a couple side quests now before we go on to the next because what because once we beat the next main planet some significant story shit's gonna kick in Okay. Um, are we going to Manon? We're actually no. We're gonna go. We're gonna mop up oh. side quests. So we're gonna go back to Dantooine finally. You. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say we were going to Dantooine in terms of like a verb. What? What's? What is Dan? I, I I didn't mean that. I just thought Dantooine just kind of sucks. Like, oh, okay. What do you think Dantooineing is? Well, I don't know. I just You're assumed you something. What? What are you doing to Dan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm disturbed now. What's an Uween? What does Uween mean? I don't know. You got a Dantooine a and a Tatooine? What, what the way? Yeah, Uween is a what suffix. Is yeah, what's an Uween? Mm -hmm. Some dumb mean? shit George Lucas made up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was. And I did not save after this cutscene last time, so. Uh, I mean, rise. Shall I have another party hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make this. Just me or does a uh, Malak character My model look better than like, all the other ones? Take care of our young Jedi. Just in terms yeah, of that's probably texturing true. and stuff, like he just doesn't look. Looks as a old. lot better than Juhani. Yeah, that's <laughs> Alex, you just mispronounced her name. I'm sorry, Jabroni. Yeah, Jabroni. <laughs> Jabroni. That's right. What great. did you call Jolie in the last episode? What? You call Jolene? What? No, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember what I called him. You, yeah, I, oh, I guess I'll have to go back and listen to it, but you, yeah. you said something pretty funny. Whatever that old yeah, fuck. Funny nickname. Jolly Bee, I think. Jolly Bee, that's Jolly what it was. Bee. <laughs> Jabroni and Jolly Bee. Those are good names. Live, if possible, as you command, Master. 
Should pay me to do some out. rewrites yeah. for the yeah. remake. For the remake? Yeah. Yeah. You could mod this game, maybe. It's also a possibility. That'd be fun. Well, Ulysses, uh, we just found out that the remake has actually been in the works since mid-2019. Alright. So it's actually had some serious development time already. Well, unless it goes like a Duke Nukem Forever sort of route. Right now it's scheduled to come out in 2023. Okay. That could change, but... Maybe it'll be like Cyberpunk. I, I just somehow I feel like that won't happen. Not even if if only for the fact that that game got so crucified that like I just can't imagine any other company. Maybe smacking a man around. Yeah, she just she just got up there to smack at her. Yeah, just slapped her right in the face. <laughs> she does that. That's some scones behavior right there, dude. Yeah. And now yeah. Kayan's like, oh, you want to play? Oh, yeah, Kayan. Well, Kayan is like, her tiny self is like, is actually legit constantly trying to fucking, uh, uh, go after, uh, Biscuit. Like, it, like, actually tries, like, trying to, like, be dominant over her. <laughs> even though she's tiny. She, like, little, like, she's so small, she'll jump on Biscuit's neck and back. And Biscuit <laughs> will just, like, with, like, one paw, just pull her down <laughs> onto the floor. <laughs> But I, I do think when Cayenne gets older and bigger, I think Biscuit's going to be on bottom again. Because <laughs> she just doesn't have a, it, she just doesn't have instincts to be dominant, like, in any way. Right. So I think she'll just kind of succumb to it. So we got we to gotta go, we got a, a Hatfield and McCoy situation over here to go deal with. Okay. Kill so, everyone. Kill everyone. Well, well, you know, that that actually might be... End the bloodline. Hey, so she <laughs> haven't seen Shitbot in a while. That's oh, true. Shitbot! It's your old friend. I was worried all of them died after Taurus. No, well, I mean, they were... They're all across the galaxy, man. Yeah, I mean, they're on Dantooine, at least. They've been hunting for toilets across the entire galaxy. Yeah, man. It's a hard <laughs> life. That's rough, dude. <laughs> I wish we could ride Oh, uh, yeah, the Sky Man. The, yeah, the Sky Man. Oh, uh, I can't wait to see what those look like in the, uh, in the remake. That'll be Some interesting. Some of the like, life and stuff. Just right. All right. That's Adam the, LARP, huh? yeah. Yeah. A Doom LARP. Uh -oh. Doom LARP. With a U. Oh. A, a Doom. Oh, a Doom. A Doom. Ah, that's a terrible name. <laughs> yeah. Star Wars. It's Star I mean, Wars tradition. Star Wars is filled with bad yeah. names. I mean, Star Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto. <laughs> There's a guy <laughs> I, named I like Kit that. Fisto. <laughs> yes, I thought, Kit Fisto. I thought Fisto. Remember Calamari I thought... Man from the prequels? Yes. That's his name. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I thought Fisto... He's got, he fists people and he's got a kit to do it with. Isn't yep. Fisto a He-Man character, too? I think so, yeah. Uh -huh. Fister... Fisto... Fist... Fisting... Fisterino. Fisterino. Well, what else is new? What's, what have you guys been up to? Uh, mm. What is new, man? Um, yeah, good question. Ooh. Well, I, here, I have one video, actual like video game thing. Oh, sure. Um, so I think, Alex, I think I told you a little bit about this. Uh, but I, I, I did not tell you about it, I know for sure. Uh, but so Sony's marketing budget is fucking like ballooned for 2022. Okay. For What was that? I seconds <laughs> Something aha the stream sure. is mine again all right, put all your points at the computer you sage already money. sage already spent all the points on something else Can we Otherwise, kill that I'm guy? Metali? mattel droid it's made by mattel by what authority are you trespassing on this estate i come on behalf of the jedi council i wish to speak to Holland matale down there <laughs> Here we go. I have been programmed to defend myself accordingly. This is like something we, we like should have probably... Yeah, I think logically you do like before you even leave Dantooine. Uh -huh. So this will probably be really easy. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think the, I don't think the like, enemies like level up with you. Yeah, I'm loving these graphics. I feel like I'm watching Transformers Beast Wars. Oh, wait, what? He didn't actually... Nope. He just told us to uh, face this cycle. All right, well, we have to get in here anyway, so. Yeah, he basically said resistance is due, though. Oh, here come the Cybermen. Uh, <laughs> but no, so, yeah, Sony's fucking, like, marketing budget is, like, ballooned. And it's supposed, it's what, I, what I've read is that it's for an unannounced third-party exclusive coming out sometime this year. Okay. They don't do that with third-party games much. Oh. Huh. Right? 
But there's one third party game I can think of that they did, which is Death Stranding. Because, I was going to ask if this is a Hideo Kojima shit. Well, I'm wondering if this isn't that this isn't that Silent Hill game that got kind of leaked. Hope. We'll see what happens, man. But I would love to fucking sandals. Why would you play sandals? They're the, it's oh, the, the Batali's and the Sandals. They're the Hatfields and the McCoys. Oh, okay. Crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the sand on the. He, he meant to say poor worlds. Because that's what he really meant to say. The injustices the Sandrals have committed against the Metales are far too numerous to name. So you're telling me Dantooine is some kind of, like, white flight planet? Yeah. Dude, shut up. Welcome in. How are you doing? Hey, it's the KOTOR guy. Yeah, uh, what's up? I raided Hot Papa earlier today and then was talking about KOTOR. Wait. Oh, gotcha. Nice. Yes, it is indeed the KOTOR guy. So you're saying that Dan is, that, is like a gentrify, no gentrified ta uh, Tatooine. Is that a twerking, is that a twerking otter emoji? What is that? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think it's a twerking, hey, like I think it's a twerking otter, right? It has like a hump. Yeah, I don't know. It's just got back. Otter got back. I don't know. My only son and heir to the Metalli estate. Vanish. That's what that's Obviously, what Sir Mix a lot was really talking about. Was <laughs> otters? Yeah. Um, okay. I, I don't know how I feel about that. You didn't know Sir Mix a lot was a furry? No. I was I was happier not knowing. No, he always oh, yeah, Sir Mix a lot's a huge furry, guys. I'm I sure he's not know into that. Anaconda anacondas. <laughs> it might, that might be what it is. Snake is, furries? Are there, is there like a whole subsection of reptiles? Dude, there are so many yes. people who want to fuck. Oh, yes, there, there are, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Snake, I mean, I feel snake, like yeah. furries? half yeah. of it's made up of like XCOM players. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, because of the fucking snake women in those yeah, XCOM Yeah, I, I don't know why they gave the snakes tits, but... Uh, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. No, you know, in yeah. the newest XCOM game, there are snake strippers. What? Yeah. Do they shed on stage? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> The life of my wow, son is okay. That's horrible, dude. Is it wow. Yes. That's, um, horrifying, and I wish I didn't know that, but <laughs> now I'm a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things Supposedly the guy who came up with those characters, uh, didn't, he claims he didn't think people would... fucking a snake. <laughs> he claims he didn't think people would sexualize them, but then, like, why'd you give them tips? Yeah. You, you sexualized them when you made them. How is... You, you, you don't think people are gonna sexualize them? completely up to you. It's like when those people who made Overwatch were surprised <laughs> by oh, what yeah. people did to that game. Yeah. And it's like, no, you're well, not you know surprised. about how they renamed one of the characters because of one of the... Oh, so the character was named after one of the people who was har sexually harassing women at Activision, right? So that guy oh, got fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the people working on the game were like, all right, let's change this character's name because we don't want our company associated with yeah, this guy anymore, right? right? Yeah, yeah. So they changed it to a new name. Which just so happened to be because they didn't Google it, the name of a porn star. So anytime you looked up over Overwatch, this like catalog of hardcore pornography was coming up, and Blizzard <laughs> oh freaked God. out even more. Did they rename it after that then? No, no they just managed to fig figure out a way for Google to like not ah. to separate the search results. But gotcha. then I also actually think it fucked up how much this porn star was making, like money this porn star was making. That probably did hurt his career. That was like, uh, did you hear about, I think she was a Twitch streamer. Her name was, um, was, uh... Make it 2000 and you have a deal. Perfect. Her name was Squid Games. That was like her Twitch name. What was it? Squid, Squid Games. Games. Oh, Squid Games. And then when Squid Game came out, they, like, nuked her, they nuked her entire account and everything. That's, just, that's, yeah, even though she'd, she'd had she it for years. First, so. Yeah, she came yeah, up first. She should sue. Yeah, she should totally sue. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much. Well, basically, what we have to do is just like talk these two families into hating each other as much as possible. They already do, but we just keep egging them on. Okay. And eventually, they will all massacre each other. We have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. No, please, God, do it. Please do it. We get five points. Can oh. you go in the Metali estate now? Yeah, can we like rob the place blind? Nah, we can't. <laughs> Name. I am programmed, but even if I am, believe in me. Alright, now, so now we just, so we go to the other estate now, and I think okay. that one we can go inside. Okay. Yeah. I think we're gonna force these two groups of people to murder each other. Sounds, Sounds good. like a good idea, man. Hmm. 
Yeah, lizard furries are called scalies. Scalies? Yes. I, yeah, I kind of feel sense. like we've had this conversation before. Wait, I'm sure we have. I guess I just forgot about it. But scalies, really? They're people flying to fuck lizards? Yeah. Like, why? Why? Do the bird ones have a name? I don't know. I've wondered that, too. I was, I'm real suspect of the bird fuckers. <laughs> yeah, I don't like... <laughs> <laughs> I personally think people will fuck birds and bad people. <laughs> I think so, too. I think... It may be a controversial statement in 2022, birds, but... <laughs> birds are for flying and eating and... Not for fucking. <laughs> not for fucking. Yeah, no, not for How Aviators. These They're called aviators. How are they? Is that really what it is? I don't know. I, just made I was going to say... I just thought aviators. I was going to say, are the sunglasses mad? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'd, be, I'd hate to be someone who's like a fan of those sunglasses. <laughs> Google the wrong one, <laughs> Apparently this is the thing that comes up in Dungeons and Dragons. Not bird fucking, but lizard fucking. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you're into that, that's the place you go. It comes up in Dungeons and Dragons? I think Fucking so, yeah. birds comes up in Dungeons and Dragons? No, I mean, lizards. I, lizards, I uh, guess. Wait, fucking lizards does. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, you roll dice for it, or what? I guess so, yeah. Like, okay. you have, like, every turn you have, like, the chance of getting fucked by a lizard. Is really? That how Dungeons and Dragons, is, that what, is that what Dungeons and Dragons is about? The, 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 the newest edition must have changed a lot. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, that's just not how I remember it. <laughs> well, what do you think is happening when that, when that dragon puts you in its dungeon? I was hoping it'd just try to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with dying. To yeah, yeah, yeah I think that's okay. We didn't, uh, we didn't exterminate these things entirely. You sure they didn't grow back? Well, I mean, you know, new, new ones will wander into the areas. So now we'll exterminate It them. does seem like we are just tearing our way through a nature preserve right now. It's <laughs> just, just a park. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, these... Oh, hey, we never even went into this area. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, you know what? We did, but only part of it. Okay, so there's actually a whole area, little area here. We just didn't even explore oh, the okay. first time we were on Dantooine. There's them fat ass trees again. Oh yeah, man. You bought it body shaming these trees again. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. In my case though, I thought. Did I? Did I say it wasn't? Yeah, you were defending the trees against that. Was I? Oh, I'm sorry. But now you're you turned against them. Ah, uh, no. These trees are just big bones. Like you just called them fat. They're big root. They're big rooted, dude. Big rooted. Yeah. Do you like these fat tree asses or not? <laughs> I mean, these trees are pretty stacked, dude. They're uh, they're two C thick. <laughs> Not three C's though. Very few things are three C's thick, man. Well, we're gonna need you to point out a tree if you see it. That's that. I'll let you know if there's a triple C tree right. out here. Oh, uh, oh yeah, no, I finished what I was saying about that game and the inflated, like, marketing budget. Yep. But yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, what about you guys? Anything, Interesting. Uh, anything crazy? Or... Uh, well, let me see. I... Oh, there's like a big old mine up there. anything. Oh, that's cute. I have red eyes, though. True. Not for that long. Honestly, it just looks like a sheep. A little cat. Walking around behind us. Oh, I did hear about a, uh, there was an empire, um, in the Andes prior to the Incas that, um, that had this, like, kind of ayahuasca beer or whatever. Oh, are these the ones that, that they, they, like, ruled through beer? Yeah, they ruled the entire society through psychedelic beer. That's awesome. And they, they would have, like, these big parties or whatever, and they were the only ones that had this psychedelic beer. So then they were able to, like, subjugate the people around it because the people around them were, like, desperate to get their hands on the stuff. Yeah, they didn't even really have much of a military. Or yeah, it's just they, they would... Anybody who didn't, like, um, kind of bow down to them wouldn't have access to this beer. Huh. And that was the entire way they ran their society. That's, that's good shit. That's pretty fast. Sounded pretty dope. I mean, made me think for the comics that that would be 
make even more sense then for, like for that Aztec. whole Aztec fucking yeah, like yeah. giant octopus bong and shit. Oh hell yeah, dude! Not weird. That probably sounds out of context. <laughs> yeah, it's that's true. Enough. I'm sure you guys heard about the the whole thing at Tonga, the volcano. Yeah. Ooh yeah, volcanic shit, man. Yeah, Nuka Fufu got <laughs> got whacked, dude. <laughs> Nuka Fufu. Nuka Fufu. Nuka Fufu got whack. <laughs> Nuka Fufu. That's if I ever the, get like a small that's... fluffy dog, I'm going to name it Nuka Fufu. Nuka, <laughs> Nuka, <laughs> Nuka Fufu. <laughs> Nuka Fufu is the capital of Tonga, dude. Don't start no, with me. I know. I just, <laughs> it sounds like the name of a dog from Star Wars. It does. <laughs> it does. But yeah, Nuka Fufu got kind of fucked up, dude. Mm-hmm. The tsunami warning for a good part of the Western US. Yeah. Yeah. Too. yeah. A couple, wi- crazy, couple women died in Peru. But if they were, it was the waves were pretty small by the time they hit yeah. uh, the Americas for sure. Yeah, that so, got yeah. retracted after that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean they they sent out a pretty serious tsunami warning and then they kind of rolled that back. But if you were on the beach and you weren't paying attention, it was like probably it pretty scary, dude. Could have snagged you. It got yeah. like I said, it got a couple women in Peru who just were out on the beach and didn't realize it was coming and it dragged them out in the water. So. Not a good time. Nope. Surfs up. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this family at? It's this estate here. Yeah, Did you talk to him? Did you talk to him? They got a they got a shit bot as their guard droid. Do they? Yeah. Fuck that man. Put, like push a shit bot would be push a that shit guard. bot over. Yeah. I wish we could push him out. Maybe in the remake we'll be able to push right. him over. I still wish we could like you know cut them open so the shit could come out. I think that would be good for them. I come on behalf of the Jedi Council. If you are here because of Shen Matalin's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Matalin witch hunt. I Just heard you guys hunt? fucking suck. <laughs> uh, in the name of the Council, I demand you let me in. There's no trouble with the Jedi Council. Nurek left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Nurek will meet with you there. Eh? So we're in the Sandral estate now. Hell yep. yeah. Sweet. And then there's two side missions that we can go clean up on Kashik. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, 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 then Ronda Manon. Nice. Um. I brought my family. Respect my authority. Peace and safety. Not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your counsel. Oh, he did not like no that. Authority authority not. Here. And I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned. Well, I have no respect, so. <laughs> justice. There is nothing to fear from us. Unless As Bastila says, wearing Sith robes and having a red lightsaber. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. Oh, shit. Did we just like lock ourselves out of that class? No, I think oh, okay. he was gonna be react no matter what. You are here from the council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Blame this daughter. Okay. What I do is my own business, so back off. <laughs> my name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. Rahasia. He has not been himself since Cassius. That's better than the average. So. Yeah. That that is actually a, not a bad name. The for, like space characters. Yeah. Not thinking Nurik isn't too bad either. It's yeah. all right. I, I'll definitely say that this game, uh, you know, it has it has less dumb Star Wars names than the average Star Wars. Right. Name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's still Star Wars. It's not. It's not going to be immune to that. But I wish we could play as Daxter Jaxter. No, you don't. <laughs> What do you want to, what is it, Cooking Mama? But it's like fucking the Star Wars 50s Yeah, yeah, game. yeah dude with his greasy alien ass crack. Yeah. Just like. Man, you do not want to <laughs> see the fucking stains in his underwear. I already saw his ass crack we in the movie. I don't know why George Lucas felt that was necessary. I mean, was, you could already see the stains on his apron. That's yeah. true. That's pro- it's probably because he went. <laughs> his apron used to be his underwear. Yeah. <laughs> he just switches them out. Yeah. Quit stalling and get to the point. Oh shit! Well, that explains why he was being a bitch. He feels this is a way to get back at the Metales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since or... Cassus went missing, his father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. 
He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill oh, Shen out change? of a mad misguided yeah, oh, no. <laughs> This is definitely weird. It does that. It does definitely do that sometimes. Oh, trippy. Uh, like what normal. happened to Cassus? I do not know. Yeah. I am worried for him, truly. But I do not believe Alan Matale had anything to do with it. And now my Could it not just be Alan? <laughs> no, it should be Aslan. Before my father does something, he will regret forever. Jesus. I would take you to the prison, but what? <laughs> That's what Aslan. Yeah. He's Jesus. Oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, the Jesus line. Yeah. You and Shen can make your escape through there. Ever tell you about when, uh... Please hurry. Or when, uh, when my sister was, um, at my grandma's house and my little cousins were watching, um, oh no. uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe with her. The, like, the live action movie? Yeah. Okay. And then, and then she was, she was, like, explaining all of the parallels to the Bible that were represented in it. And she ruined it for them? Oh, yeah. She spoiled that Aslan wasn't actually dead. She's like, but don't forget, just like Jesus, he's coming back. And they're like, what? <laughs> Jesus, like, the end of the movie. Yeah. If you're going to do it at all. Please find. Okay, so she wants us to... I mean, maybe unless the kids are like three and won't remember it anyway. Hell yeah, where they should be. Uh, no, they weren't that young. They I'd weren't. be, I would be like fucking, just fucking paranoid about getting spoiled about the plots of movies forever. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, guess. I, I mean, I mean, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Shit, anyway, but. No, but if you were a little kid and you didn't really have a fully sure. formed sense of like taste in movies yet, and yeah, you were like excited about it, and your grandma sat next to you and just told you everything that was going to happen before it happened. Yeah, I would be really. like very on guard. Have you ever had Turkish Delight, dude? Yes, actually, it's pretty. It's good. good. Yeah, it's like, fantastic. Not, it's high quality stuff. It's like yeah. a, it's like a gummy almost, mm -hmm. like okay. a like a nut, Sounds cool. like a nut gummy. Well, now I don't know if I like it, based on how you describe it. <laughs> You've been trying a lot of nut gummies, Alex? Not, 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 well, like, Isn't with it? pistachios and walnuts and shit. Not like, not like ball nuts. Like, <laughs> ball nuts. Not, not nuts from not testicles. Not nuts from testicles. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but pistachios and almonds, you know, they're not gummy. But they're, yeah, I'm not sure about the, yeah. But they're either in there as whole pieces nuts. or, like, ground down to, like, a flower and then add. But maybe but that's you, not gummy. Still, do you make like a but flour? But it's still gummy. It's still, it's still like a what a like a pectin gelatin type thing. Oh, I'm like, you have come from the jungle. Uh, I'll see if we could just tell him that the good duck guy kidnapped him instead yeah. of solving the problem. It's like Turkish it's mochi. That's probably the that's best good, way to explain. Yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. I fair, fair enough. I can see that. My it is good. Yeah. Tells yeah. Me you, I think you know, I actually didn't hate that. Why in the Witch Order movie? It's not that great, but no, I think it's fine. It's better than the other ones. Oh yeah. Oh wait, can we not? That was one of the ones we were. They really thought that that was going to be the next Harry Potter. They did, yeah. Oh dude, well I mean, the only why does the count? You know, it's a series that has had a lot of movie adaptations, and I don't think any of them have been very good. Two thousand. That, yeah, I don't think I so. I mean, other than the most modern movie adaptations, I don't know older ones. So. Oh, there's a bunch of older ones. Are there? They're all very okay. low budget. Uh, oh, yeah, more dark side points. Sweet. All right, so I guess we do just have to go in there and, like, break them out. We can't just, like, tell him okay. about it. That's fine. Um, I mean, I, see, I, I wish they would have just adapted. If they if they were going to adapt that franchise, just do it in chronological order. Definitely. Because that first book is fucking weird, dude. Yeah, well, technically, right. it was, like, the last one published, or the second to last one published, but, like, chronologically, it's the first one. It has such a confusing order. Yeah. I think chronologically... Well, it, was, it was a prequel, essentially, to explain how the universe kind of came to be. Which one were you talking about? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about the one where, like, it's the fucking kid is, the, like, and they find, like, the fucking multiverse portals. And oh, yeah, the you dead mean the, 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 the magician's name. nephew. Yeah. Do you know that that's the nah. fucking... Oh, dude, Alex, that, that shit's crazy. That's actually kind of crazy. Interesting. That's, that's, that's actually kind of cool. Too. Is it? Yeah, yeah dude, uh -huh. these kids fucking... Well, here, you probably remember it better. Yeah, because... Uh, cause... So they find this, the multiverse, right? And, like, they literally go to this place, and it's, like, this infinite forest to all these puddles and shit, and, like, each puddle is a universe. 
And this is Narnia? Yeah, yeah. This is, this, well, no, Narnia is one of one universe yeah, in the one, multiverse. So, like, one okay. of the puddles. But this is that Narnia. book series. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so the first huh. puddle they go through leads to a world called Charn. And it's like this nuclear hellscape. Jeez. It's like it was used to be this, this massive city that, like, occupied an entire world. But it got, like, nuked into oblivion by powerful magic. And, like, okay. it's like... There's, like, just dust and blood and, like, this blood-red, like, dying sun in the sky and everything. Like Nuka Fufu? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the side entrance? But, and that's that's the world where the White Witch comes from. She actually oh, killed that world. She gotcha. literally fucking wiped out all life in that universe. Damn, what a bitch. <laughs> and so they wake her up and bring her back to Earth. And her first instinct is to try to use the same magic to wipe out Earth. Yeah. Yeah. But she doesn't have any magic in this plane of existence. Because oh, she's in, like, okay. the normal world, right? Right. And huh, that is interesting. Like, it, but then she like she I'm trying I can't remember exactly, but then she manages to like get some of her power back. She, I, sh I think she basically like strings the the magician the the, the dude who the kids are like related to yeah, along yeah. to like get him to do shit for her, and then she goes to Narnia, I think. Well, Narnia doesn't exist yet. Well, it's it's just being formed when she gets. Well, there. they see it like they see the birth of the yes. universe. It's actually huh. written in the pages, right? Mm -hmm. So ba huh. basically, she fuck so, like she like. She, literally, she is. Uh, she gets some of her, a little bit of her power back, and then like I'm not kidding when she she is literally terror starts just terrorizing Earth, right? <laughs> like she walks into the streets and like rips a lamppost out of the fucking like cobblestone like street, yeah. and there are like police trying to fight her, and she's like like with like Sauron like whipping <laughs> them with the fucking lamppost, huh? And then they they get as and then the kids like manage to like get her into yeah they like, like trick the, her into going yeah. back yeah but she still got the lamppost as mm -hmm. they do it right so that lamppost gets brought with them <laughs> okay. and then they go into a universe that like doesn't exist yet they're all just like floating in a black void and then they watch Aslan like give birth to the universe and the lamppost right remember how that's they find that when they go through the wardrobe. Oh, yeah, that's why that's is, there. Huh. so that's like okay. the center of the universe because they were there in the void before huh. they existed. Wow. Yeah, okay. dude, that for that Dang. that like chronological first huh. book is fucking weird. That's very. It's actually weird. cool. I mean, huh. it's genuinely, actually. And there's like a whole lot of like like metaphors for like nuclear war and shit. And yeah, that. there's a lot of uh, shit about like nuclear war. Interesting. Oh, did you see that J.K. Rowling now? Oh God, what now? she do? Oh, well, they're actually calling her out on how anti-Semitic. Uh... Are they finally doing that? Yeah. Well, you know, what's funny is that Jon Stewart just made a joke about it, yeah. and then, like, all these articles got posted about yeah. it. Jon Stewart calls out, blah, 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 and then Jon Stewart had to put up another video and go, like, I wasn't calling anyone out. I was just fucking talking. <laughs> he just <laughs> <laughs> he made it such a big then. deal about yeah, it. Right. Which is funny, because, I mean, people have noticed that for a long time. Yeah. It's just that yeah, but now, it's popular. Be, well, it's popular, and... Um, and because uh, it's also just popular right now to dog on J.K. Rowling, right. so it's yeah, well, it's, 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 a it's while. yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's just like like why not dunk on her for one more thing since everybody hates her now, I yeah. guess. Right. I mean, it was a little weird that people were overlooking that back when they were still dumping on her. Right. right. Well, because that's it's like uh, that's what John Stewart said, right? He was like, you know, in the, sitting in the theater, he was like, "How's no one else noticing this?" <laughs> I don't, you know, I mean, I, I understand, like, but did J.K., was that J.K. Rowling's idea to make him look like that, or was that, like, the... I don't think the, they like that in the book. No, she, yeah. they, no, dude, even in the book, they're described as, like, the little fucking pointy teeth. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, they're goblins that control the money, right? Even if she didn't get too explicit about, like... She didn't specifically say they look like these, though. No, yeah, but, I don't she, but she that. said they're goblins and they're bakers. I mean, I feel like that's enough. I, I don't know. I, I like, guess, I guess, but I mean, I mean, like, I mean, I if guess it, it depends on whether goblin was kind of used as, like, yeah, but like, like, the, the thing that, that makes that, them so anti Semitic I mean, is the fact that they look like Nazi propaganda. Like, if it was like, if they were like green. I mean, I remember reading those if books like, as a kid, and I remember them, it's sounding like that, at least to okay. me. Okay. You might be right, but like, if they look like Lord of the Rings goblins. But it had money, you know. I wouldn't yeah, right. Say I wouldn't, that was yeah. like, you know. Maybe not, but I, it's just the fact that they are the bankers, nonetheless. I mean. But what know. creature did you want to be the bankers? I don't know. 
Dragons actually. Make actually sense. Yeah, actually, that'd be kind of sick if the dragons were the fucking. Dragons. Yeah, but what I mean, do you think you'd ever be able to withdraw your money from the dragons? Oh, so, like, no, excuse me, true. excuse me, I need to take some of my money now. You what think the dragon really would put up with it? A little tiny dragon. Well, yeah. They'd probably still make you fight them for the money. Yeah, but if like, they're small, you could just like slap them. And then you get yeah, the but money. who who wants to have to go into the bank and have a fight with a little midget dragon every time you need to take out twenty bucks? That'd be awesome in a book. That's what you want. You want to just have to fight a little dragon? I'm not gonna lie, that'd be fun. Yeah. Just, I mean, just I feel like you'd get old after a while. It'd be fun the first couple times. You'd also get money and then every you'd time come, you did it though, too. But so it's your like, money. You yeah. already had that money. You chose right. to. Give it to the dragons. Yeah. I just feel like after so many times, you just be annoyed. Well, regardless of the fact you just walk in. You have to admit, this is actually a pretty good idea for the right? I mean, <laughs> come on. You just, just like, give me my fucking money, <laughs> dragon. <laughs> I've heard at least three kids say that. <laughs> yeah, you've heard that. Yeah. I don't know. Could you. What's up with that sleepy drug, though? Is he drunk or something? Uh, it's a, it's a faulty, it's a faulty one. one. We could repair it, but oh, I mean, we don't need him. We don't need We're him. doing fine. This, this whole area is the way uh, yeah, to I don't. To... I just feel like after a while, you just like you'd learn the dragons' names and everything, and you have to come in, and you'd be like, "God damn it, Phil, do we have to do this again? Like, I just need thirty bucks." Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think that would make a lot more sense than making them juice, though. Yeah, I get that. Who are you? What do you want with me? Because it's what I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like if you don't read the book where that comes up. Fair enough. I want. don't, I don't, I mean, I read the books, but I don't remember it don't being remember really explicitly being wish. like, no and then oh. like. I mean, I just, it is it isn't like just saying, hey, the, and go then, like, the goblins run the banks. Is that, it, doesn't that already just feel like it's I just, getting really I just, close? I don't know. I mean, I never, like, I never I mean, I, thought of I understand of, yeah. where you're coming from, but I do wonder if that might not be, like, you know, maybe reading more into it than was intended. It, I mean, yeah, that's possible. It's, yeah, it's, it's possible. I'll, I'll give you that. It's definitely not, like, a, I, I would, I would like to go back and look at that passage and how they're described yeah that makes sense and see like how exactly are they described because what are the goblins that, what are the goblins names like that's a good question i don't remember what the goblins names they're are not like. named like rosenstein or something yeah see that would definitely like throw me for a loop yeah because that would be uh, that would be hard like 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 like, like if Google like Google ariel Google. ariel goldstein the the <laughs> the goblin like then Google then i'd be like now. then i'd be like okay fair enough you're right sage <laughs> Well, no, seriously, Google Google the names and just see. Okay. I wonder if they actually are named are characters you? in this book. What do you want with I'm pretty sure they've what named all the characters in this book. It's now. not my own secret. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will... Oh, yeah, Warwick Davis played those goblins. If you don't come with me, I'll drag you out. Head off, alert all the guards in the house. The That's only fine. chance you have is to talk Rahasia into leaving. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with what, us, are they dating or something? Yeah, it's like a. Is that why he's over here? Yeah, well, they, yeah, they they're like secret lovers, okay. but their families hate each other. It's West Side Story. All right. Then I too shall. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Thank you. All right, I'll go talk to her. <laughs> All right. God damn it. Where are you? What have we learned so far, Alex? Um, Any names? Goblins were extremely clever and over the years had dealt with wizard kind effectively. They were still subservient in the mind of most wizards, but they had established themselves as a vital part of wizarding society. Okay. The goblins ran Gringotts, the wizarding bank, therefore they controlled the wizarding economy to a large extent. Well, maybe, that maybe, sounds maybe pretty... Right. <laughs> Alright, this is getting so much. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on, so they, they secretly now. control the entire <laughs> wizard economy? Yeah, I think Sage has a point. <laughs> Sage, Sage is... Come on. Fair enough. Fair enough. I still want to know Tell if there are any names, though. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Alright. I'll go find him again. Oh wait, you're, she was right over here. <laughs> Have you spoken to Rahasia? Yes, she probably. She's not. Nice that's out. Tell me what I want to hear. 
but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. All right, here we go. Sweet. Shen, you're safe. Yeah, well, Gringot is the last name of one of the goblins. Okay. That doesn't seem overly no. specific. No. Yep. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. Shen's father promised me a reward. <laughs> <laughs> They're like thanking me, and I'm like, oh, I'm getting a reward. Mm -hmm. you, you're just doing this for the reward? How <laughs> I thought you... Oh, here we go. Sweet. <laughs> Massacre time. Yeah. There we go. At least the dads are going to kill each other. Father, Gunfight Mr. Okay Rahasia. Father. Mr. Sandro. There have been a number of... <laughs> <laughs> He's all yelling each other's names. You, you had captured my son. No, sorry, oh, apparently there have been multiple goblin that. rebellions you over the poor treatment and discrimination of the goblins. Oh, so. really? Really? And yet they secretly control all the money. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just shoot each other and get it over? <laughs> no, father, don't do this. We don't always need to be fighting like this. It's gone too far for that, Rahasia. Alan has crossed the line one too many times. <laughs> for what you uh, do to me and my family, uh, I will see you in a lot of interesting in goblin facts. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Anything good? Um... The only way either of you will end this is with blood. <laughs> <laughs> each other. No. That's the plan. <laughs> Bastel is like, God damn it, what? What is wrong with you? Horribly wrong somewhere. Alan, what can we be thinking? What? No. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Were you so evil that you pushed them in the other direction? Throats now. Fighting over our children's lives when they are old enough to. Well, their own only one of them seems to be making. Okay, okay, only one of them is being reasonable. Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Alex, did you see the That's choice? good. <laughs> nice. Do it. What? No, no! I never did anything to your son. I, I knew you were lying, you dog. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh my God! So Man, the evil that we are able to you. just manipulate. Father, no! Don't do it! Die! <laughs> oh, so he killed his son in revenge. Nice. Nice. Uh, Dang. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> kill her. Dad. He killed, he killed his the daughter. other guy's daughter. <laughs> oh my god. They're gonna kill each other. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you this would be fun. Nice. Well done, man. This <laughs> keeps going. <laughs> Destroy the invaders. <laughs> and now we can. Bomb and now you just got them. Nice. That's awesome. What else you got for us in terms of goblins? Uh, I'm just going through. There was a go kind of a goblin civil rights movement and a bunch of. Uh, you don't say. Why is all this stuff in here? Like, some kids dunked the goblin rights activist Ugg the Unclean in. Uh, Ugg in the Unclean? Didn't he? Didn't he used to buy ugly houses? <laughs> yeah, Ugg <laughs> buys ugly houses, dude. Uh, he did look unclean though. So That's I'll, true. I'll give him that. that. All right, now we're going to go see what the okay, Jedi here's Council some... has to say about what we just did. <laughs> okay, here's some here's some goblin names. Olguf the Awful. Olguf the Awful. Why do they have names like this? Bogrod. Well, at least Bro... the names don't seem to Bro be like... Brodrig the Boss-Eyed. Right, you know Clever. I take, I take back what I said about dumb names in Star Wars. <laughs> Yergit the Ugly. Yergit, huh? Yergit, huh? Narlak. Narlak. Arlac. Gornuk, Gringot, Griffook. Griffook? <laughs> These fucking griffs? Griffook. 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 I don't know. Nagnok. Oddbert. Oddbert. <laughs> Alright. Ragnok the Pigeon Toad. Rag Ragnuk the First. Let's see. Alright, then it's just a bunch of. Ugg the unreliable, Erg the unclean. <laughs> Ugg must have stopped buying ugly houses. <laughs> Erg stop returning people's calls. Erg Gruff no, the unwary. No, killed some of them. And then yeah, that's all the named goblins. Thank you, young Jedi. Oh. Mm. Actually, there might be one last thing we can do because now that we've we killed all the separate groups of Mandalorians, so now if we go out there, we might be able to find the leader. 
Huh. Learned something about Harry Potter goblins today. Well, J.K. Rowling has issues. Yeah, clearly. I mean, come on. Like, okay, so after reading the fact that they, they control the entire wizard economy. Yeah, that's kind of that not feels. good. Yeah, I guess I get I guess I can feel that. I mean, it's certainly still, like, the fault of the fucking people that made well, the movies. The movies made it worse. Yeah. Because yeah. they clearly leaned into that. Yeah. They read that and were like, oh, this is the direction we're taking it. <laughs> let's go. Quick, let's consult some Nazi propaganda posters. Yeah, that's not good, dude. No, that's not good. I think the I think the only reason that no one ever really got on it the, on on the case of that of those movies before is because that I feel like it's like such a little thing, you know, like in terms of like how much screen time is sure, dedicated sure. to them going to that. But I mean, it's like what one scene, right? Like, kind of. What do you even see them again after that? I feel like yeah, you I think know? you see no. them like once or twice over the course of the franchise, but, but you don't see but them it's like really minimal. Yeah, you don't see them like hobbling around with the right, monitor, like that. Right. And I, I, it's a big part of it is because, you know, that came out before the PC era really started. Right. I mean, I feel like that's one where, like, if people really got, got mad about it, I would be like, you know what, fair enough. Oh, yeah, for the Goblins thing, that's 100% of the right. Yeah, that seems, that seems like something I would, like, perfectly understand. I mean, I'm actually amazed that people weren't more pissed about that back in the day. Right. I mean, yeah, I'm, it's amazing to me that that hasn't gotten brought up more. Like, right like now. Like, how has that not been... Because me and hell, I mean, uh, George Lucas was being rightly dragged through the mud for, yeah. for prequels, which came out around the same time. And people actually said something then. Yeah. With that, with him. Mm -hmm. so, I, mean, I guess Jar Jar was too far. Well, not if Jar Jar had had thirty seconds of screen time. Maybe he wouldn't have been. As, pe yeah, yeah, people maybe. might not have said or cared as much, but he was in a majority of the Phantom Menace. He was, yeah. He he was like throughout that. But people were pointing out the, the problems with Watto as well. True, true. He and was Watto wasn't minimal. that. He, yeah. Well, I mean, when he comes back in the next movie and they put the hat on him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what the fuck were they thinking? It's like, if this wasn't racist enough the first time. <laughs> God, it really was just a different, worse era in that respect. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good, dude. I mean, like, I guess if there's if there's one thing I'm glad about, it's that that isn't something that seems to come up in entertainment really anymore. What, like, Watto? New stuff. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes. But also just generally, like, it's so frowned upon now to have, like, an offensive stereotype like that that, like, it's just, people just don't even do it anymore, and I'm glad that it's kind yeah. of gone away. I mean, like, I guess not never. I mean, Tyler Perry still makes it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then there was that, um, I mean, this wasn't, like, super recent, but there was that fucking Christmas movie with the, the Black Jew lawyer. Yeah, but that was, like, I mean, yes, that was a thing, but also it was, like, a fucking, you know, a hundred dollar film made by Christian propaganda. Right, it wasn't a mainstream thing. Yeah, I guess that'd be my big thing already. That's like, fair. Who, who was really paying attention to The Last Ounce of Courage? <laughs> Last Ounce of Courage. Go ahead and sue me, whatever company made that, but that movie is racist as shit. I don't know, man. They can try to sue you. I think they'd lose. I would, I would hope so, and I, maybe I'll get money. <laughs> I do love the end of that movie, though. Where, where they fucking show in the school the, the, the moment that Yeah, they show the dude getting fucking killed on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about... Uh, uh, yeah, the oh, that's a great that. movie, dude. Chuck Norris approved. <laughs> No, I mean, literally, it said that on mm -hmm. Tumblr. Yeah, it's, it is a Chuck Norris approved movie. What can I do? Yeah, the, the military must make some great cameras, though. It's pretty amazing that they recorded Survived the that explosion? Big yeah, I didn't expect the camera to survive that explosion. <laughs> ah, so this is the meddler. You have caused us right. far too much so trouble. Here's for the us last of the Mandalorians on Dantooine, and then uh, they've actually finished everything on Dantooine. Nice. Labor. And then we got some Kashik missions to mop up. Yeah, we got two. We got. Oh, it's only two, too, too. Mm. So it's, nice. it's, it, it won't take long. Mm. Um, Digging that Cyclops armor. Mandalorians do look pretty cool, actually. Well, and I think the, their armor in, he, in this looks even cooler than the armor they have in, in uh, the show. Yeah, or every, I mean, just like ever, all just every yeah. appearance I guess they've ever had has mm -hmm. generally been based off of the yep. uh, I mean, This is much more unique and interesting. 
So it does look kind of like that Babylon 5 age. Oh, damn it. it. Yeah, you remember that stage when we watched that first terrible, god awful episode of Babylon 5? And the only actually worthwhile oh, thing yeah. was the alien costume. That's true. I guess that was the one. That was the one thing we said didn't work like total bad. Yeah. Right. Everything else. About I don't know if we'd be know. avoiding doing Book of Boba Fett spoilers on here, but. Eh. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the problem is that like so little has happened in that story. Mm. I mean, like, uh, even, even fucking the double toasted review for it, it yeah. was just straight up core going like, all right, what are we doing here, man? Like, what, what's, what's the plot? Like, <laughs> what, we're, literally, what are we doing? Well, you know who's the showrunner, right? Robert Rodriguez. Yep. So that's why those kids showed up on those stupid bikes, because you could get, you felt that, uh, Spy Kids influence. Yeah. Coming yep, from him. That's what it was. And in that third episode, also, Danny yep. Trejo shows up. Yep. He yep. directed the first one, too. Yep. Which, yeah. which if the, and the, John Favreau directed the second one, which is the one that was which was better. it was it was significantly better. Maybe I'm not going. Yeah, episodes. I know. I know you don't believe me, but it was a significantly better episode than the other two. I mm -hmm. mean, I'll, I believe it's better than the other two. I just won't believe. But it's good. but the third episode, <laughs> the third episode reversed, basically just eliminated Anything. the just destroyed the entire purpose of the second episode, and then went back to the same dumb shit that was from the first episode. That sounds like that sounds it was right. basically Robert Rodriguez was like, "What interesting character development for these sand people? Who the fuck needs them?" And then <laughs> he had them all like murdered. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, part of the problem with the show is that Boba Fett just thinks if he's nice to everyone. Everyone, they'll they'll yeah, just get right. along somehow. Yeah, which doesn't fit with Boba Fett's character in the slightest. No, he's a complete bitch. Dude, <laughs> he gets beaten up by Jawas. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Literally, I'm just actually watching Jawas just like hurt popping in the street. It's not far off. <laughs> <laughs> And then, he got, and then with, with literally a single bodyguard, he wanders around in broad daylight in the middle of the crime ridden city expecting, I don't know, nothing to happen to him? Right. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's the sort of thing that crime lords do, right? Yeah. He's, he's, he's a nice crime boss. Yeah. That's a thing. So not a thing. <laughs> nope. Not one time did I ever hear about a nice crime lord. That's a good way to get killed as a crime lord, for sure. I mean, you don't think that's how they run the cartels down in... Yeah, they're just really America. nice. Really nice and respectful to everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 100%. They don't... Even when they, like, hang your headless corpse and, like, from a lamppost in the street, you know, they're nice about it. Yeah. How? <laughs> what, what do they do that's so nice? They're just very respectful in the way they treat your your, your headless corpse. Uh huh. In in what way? What makes it a respectful a respectful <laughs> yeah, decapitated person I'm, hanging? What what detail am I missing here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe in, like in they what use way? the proper pronouns. And, oh, yeah. wow, oh, that does so make that, that does make up for it. Yeah. Like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them, thank you, young master. My daughter can now. Oh no, we're gonna get light side peace. points for this. Here is the reward I promised you. What? That's it? Give me more. Okay. <laughs> there we go. What? I did not think the Jedi were so greedy. You seem almost Mandalorian. I thank you for what you have done for me, but I have nothing else to give. The Council will hear of your deeds and your greed. That was beneath you. I hope no, it really wasn't. You strive to yeah, could, oh, yeah. come on. We have done worse than that, too. Right. I guess chronologically, this should have been one of the first dark right. side choices we I would guess. make. I mean, we made it even just on Taurus, we made quite yeah, a few. Yeah, that's true. Even before we got to yep. Dantooine. Yeah, so Tatooine is officially done. We've Dantooine's gotta... just about to be official. We're going to talk to the Jedi Council and just see what they complain mm -hmm. about for a second. Um, but Ho then... Hopefully we can bitch them out. Right. It'd be better if we killed them. I know. I know, right? But then uh, two side missions on Kashyyyk, and then we can actually go and start Manan. Sweet. All right. Do you, do you want to get that at us? Welcome once more. No, do not tell me about history. Yeah. You have no <laughs> more. No more of that. Of a terrible battle near the Here we go. To the south of the Enclave. Apparently, a large force of droids attacked the estate. The defending droids returned in kind. The attacking family was apparently the Metallic Yeah, no, we made that happen. Launching an attack on the Sandral estate. Both entire families were slain. 
including the boy Shen, who had been reported missing. There was suspicion that someone noticed one or more other persons leaving the battle area after the conflict had finished. <laughs> what our response you is going to be? It's like, no, I didn't see anything. <laughs> you if you could brag you about something? it. No, I was somewhere else. That's horrible. I didn't know. Perhaps it was... Oh, okay, so they're all lies. <laughs> okay. We literally don't even get another choice but to lie. Perhaps it was Mandalorian Raiders. So? <laughs> he believed us, too. But something in your manner is odd. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. But no matter. Hilarious. More pressing things are at hand. You must always remember the destruction and chaos that the dark side can wreak. Yeah, we're aware. It's obvious, Master Vandar senses something is not right with your story. Yet he chooses to believe you. No, you're not going to out us, you fucking snitch. It would she be, did it before. It would be even funnier if we could just point to Bass and be like, she did it, it was all her fault. <laughs> That'd be great. But beware the, dark, the fate of the galaxy. Oh okay, yeah, that's the same thing. And then, do you say anything? Man, one of the southern estates recently. <laughs> yeah. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> Indeed. I cannot so they, they, they totally think that we did it. <laughs> hey, we got more dark side points. Yeah, you give us dark side points? Some sort of large battle to the south. That he will. Apparently both the families were completely... I find yep. that most suspicious. Perhaps. Perhaps. Let this be a lesson against hate and violence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yay! <laughs> dark side. All right, awesome. Okay, cool. Are we already at, like, the very bottom of the dark side scale? Like, literally, there's, like, a fucking centimeter that we could go down, but, <laughs> I mean, basically. All right. Now we never have to come back to Dantooine. Until, until the remake comes out, anyway. Right. Yeah. I'm still amazed that we can just walk up to the Jedi Council and Sith Road. Yeah, they don't really seem to notice that. Is there anything oh. Oh, yeah, we, we, we totally listened to this already. Yep. Yep, yep, shut up. Let me go. I don't want to talk to you. Jetta Wata Bada Bada. Fucking baby talk. <laughs> it does sound like baby talk. One of my was one of the funniest uh, spill videos back in the day was uh, when they did the review for Thor two. They were making fun of how the dark elves talk. <laughs> they, and they, they like drew a scene of like Jabba the Hutt, the dark elves, <laughs> and the Klingon all talking to each other. <laughs> they all sounded the same. God, God, that's accurate. Yeah, that is definitely one of the most disappointing MCU movies. Thor two. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not very good. No. Better than Black Widow though. It was better than Black Widow. Still haven't and seen it. I I. Uh, we're gonna make you watch yeah. it one of these days. No, don't do that. Yeah, we're gonna. Honestly, dude, I don't. You know, you know what? You have to. Oh man, he's got to see you, all you the You know what? You know what? You can watch Alex is the what? remember that pitch meeting guy. Yeah. Those yeah. videos, like the Ryan George videos. Just watch the five minute video, like video he oh, did okay. making fun of Black Widow. Sure. If he explains the entire movie. That's okay. all you need to Perfect. see. In fact, that's how I'm going to start showing like you movies that I don't think you should watch. But you just have like, an idea of what happened in the yeah, movie. Yeah, that's, okay. that's literally all that you need to see. That works for me. I hope, that, I hope they make a God's Beat movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Something... Something tells you don't me. think Gerard Butler's Something gonna be available in between one of his has fallen oh, movies? He'll be available. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean they can only make so many more of those has fallen movies. The Gods next. of Egypt has fallen. <laughs> Egypt, <laughs> Egypt has fallen. There you go. Yeah, I can see that. President Morgan Freeman's in trouble <laughs> yeah. with the God. Well, Ra. He's not president in the second, second and third ones. I don't think he's only pre was it? Well, he was president in the first one. Yeah, and then I think Aaron Eckhart was president in the second one. Is he? He's back in the. He's back in the third one. No, I'm well, pretty sure he's president he got, in the third one. He okay. he pulled like a Cleveland or something. Yeah, and he got elected. He got elected non-consecutively. Yeah. Gotcha. Because yeah, so. he's he's running security for Morgan Freeman again in the third one. All right. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. We'll Maybe it's shit. like private security for like the ex-president. Ah, that's possible. One of those. That's a that's a move. The third one I caught snippets of. Um, I didn't even like the first one. No, I didn't like it either. They should bring back the dark universe too. 
no. <laughs> no, no one's asking for that. <laughs> Where's my Hasbro cinematic universe? Yeah, say? Hasbro. That, yeah. That's long. When can we dead. get visionaries? <laughs> yeah, when's visionaries coming? No out? one's. No one gives a shit about the magical light. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're knights of the magical light. Sage. Yeah, get it right, Sage. Sage. No one and no one sage. gives a shit about them. <laughs> We do. I don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even pretend to care. I don't care for that series at all. <laughs> yeah. You tried. You tried really hard to come up with a way that that could be cool. Yeah, it's there's no there's no way. I mean, if you if you just want to say, oh, let's make a Green Lantern movie instead, then sure. But like yeah, that's but, Green but to stay but to, <laughs> to keep the core elements of the story. But dude, there's the no way to make of that this universe is that it could cross over with such other great franchises as Ryan as Reynolds' Green Lantern and My Little Pony and yeah. Magic: The Gathering. Yeah. Well, I, I'm that's fine your with that's your ultimate over. movie there, Zay. I'm I'm fine with the crossing over with the Green Lantern movie because it's not ruined. Well, yeah, because you love the Green Lantern. Movie. Yeah, because yeah. you like that, dude. No, because you can't possibly, <laughs> because you liked it so much. You can't possibly because you really you really no, enjoyed your favorite that. No, you really no. like you really you like. You can't that. ruin it anymore. So you told me that matter. was your favorite movie of all time. I, no, I didn't. You said it made like the. You are a liar. <laughs> you are a goddamn dirty liar. <laughs> You said I made the Dark Knight trilogy look like trash. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> you know, you're a liar. I did hear you say that. Dude. No, you didn't. <laughs> See, mm -hmm. you were all. You were both liars. It's two against one, Sage. We have to. Yeah, we have to. Where's right. your fucking evidence? Or it's right here. It's yeah, two it's of right us. here. It's two That's of us. That's not evidence. It's just yeah, one it's... of you. You don't have any evidence that you did so bad. That's democracy, Sage. That's yeah, not, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Two beats, Where's the proof? Two beats one. That's democracy. Yeah. Yeah. Two beats one. <laughs> <laughs> just executing as much wildlife as we can find. Does the wildlife, idea. like, grow back or what? Well, I mean, we're not actually making any of these things stay, so some of them, some of them repopulate. Okay. Yeah, they'll be None of the human NPC or the human enemies ever come back, but the animals will sometimes. So we can make humans stay. Well, I mean, no, but... <laughs> I think the... I mean, no. <laughs> we, we, can, we, can, we can just get rid of the sentient ones that want to fight us. You know, the canon uh, version of Revan actually carries around one eagle and one red lightsaber. Hmm. That fashion statement. Okay. It's just because it's a combination of colors that no other character had, so it made him stand out as being made him. So wait, are purple unique. lightsabers like Sith lightsabers? No. Okay. Revan just Revan. I mean, Revan's not a traditional Sith. I mean, in, in the sense, right? Revan is more He's of like, like a new age Sith. <laughs> old age, if anything. I mean, <laughs> yeah, this has taken times. place long before He's a uh, retro original Sith. trilogy. Sure, retro, sure, retro Sith. Hipster Sith. Yeah. Yeah. Does he have like a penny farthing bicycle, dude? <laughs> Is it, is it like the seat like hiked up like eight feet into the air? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> so, is it like that? Does a fucking plastic cock come out of the seat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a it's a pedal driven. It's pedal driven. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta what pedal to fuck your ass or something? Is that what it is? <laughs> and get to work. But yeah, yeah. get to work. Yeah. Man, how it would gets you, you going while you're going. How would you sit down at your office chair when you got there? Well, your office just chair be like, has a dick, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You just come in and be like, whoa, this is a, you know this this is a tough shit. commute today. You know, like, those uh, little oh, cranks that you have this? on the bottom of office chairs to, like, well, raise it and lower it? You have one of those to raise and lower the dick. Uh, this is the, jet, the, the Sith that Malak sent out to find us. Oh, shit. We also came across him very briefly. And um, we fought him in the military uh, uh, fort that was on Taurus. Oh, Remember that okay. we had yep. to steal the droid. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, fool. We will not glimmer kill you like I killed Kalinord. Uh, your Malak's apprentice can't say. Yeah, do you want to do that one? Sure. It's the most yeah. dickish one. It's nothing to me. I think they. I think that got to him. <laughs> I think he's pretending it didn't, but I'm pretty sure it got to him. He looks like either the villain in like a '70s B movie. You pretend you're fine, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Darth, that's Darth Bandit, guys. Darth Bandit? Yeah. No Bandit. Bandit. Oh, Darth, Darth Brandon. Bandit. Darth Bandit. Darth, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> he's just gonna let his, his his friends get killed first. True stuff. 
Yeah, cowardly. Have you seen the people uh, talking like Let's Go Brandon is like the worst thing anyone's ever said about a politician? I <laughs> know. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> they're like, this represents a coarsening of the discourse in this country. I think it's like I'm pretty sure people have been saying fuck poli different politicians for forever. a long time. And I think there are. This is like the first time that, anybody's yeah. used a euphemism that I can remember. I think Rashida Tlaib has heard worse stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Oh yeah. I was just amazed by the people who are like, this represents just coarsening and like a debasement of our politics. And I'd be like, I've heard way worse shit before. Yeah, that's that's this. Nothing. This is the frick of like political insult. Dude. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it really is. Though. It really, really is. One down. Well, uh, you know, Dar Darth, uh, Darth Bandon was actually supposed to attack us when we finished Manon. Um, oh, really? Oh, why is he here early? Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not honestly entirely sure why that they just like It did trigger, it did trigger at the same place that our fight with, uh, with Calo, with Calo Nord. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. I think, I, it's just like this, so like, it, because the, some of these boss enemies will appear like in totally different places depending on where like what, what order you, you go to what planet in. Yeah. but I, I didn't think it would trigger anything because we we, like, we already fought calendar here yeah, yeah like weird i figured it would wait till we like so i guess there just won't be a boss fight at the end of the night all right whatever can, can we handle this boss right now we sh i mean it's that's it's not gonna be easy but Dark brandon's kind of kicking our ass here well, he's got two of us just out of commission right now. With his they're, mind, they're just with his mind. Well, they're, they're just so angry with the, the state of the political system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't handle it. They can't handle it. Have you seen that? Like S Steve Bannon's launched his own like uh, scam cryptocurrency what? based on. Uh, it's called FJB Coin. <laughs> okay. FJB. Uh, fuck Joe thing? Biden. Oh. <laughs> How's it doing? I thought it was Steve Bannon was saying, like, I fuck don't. my butt or something. Like <laughs> fuck, fuck my, my butt. butt. <laughs> fuck my butt coin. That's what I immediately assumed. <laughs> Somebody should make that. <laughs> fuck my butt coin. Oh. Yeah, there we go. What what would be the what would be the like core purpose of fuck my butt coin? <laughs> like, um, like like you use it on grinder, I guess. Okay, like there's grinder bucks. Yeah. Okay. Grinder bucks. <laughs> grinder bucks for grinder butts. Yeah, dude. I mean, yeah, I suppose. You gotta yeah. How do how do you earn fuck my butt coin? <laughs> so like butt like, mining. Butt mining. <laughs> is that like you put like a Fitbit on there and like yeah. it counts the strokes or whatever? And, like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Your wish. It's like proof of work, you know? Like you gotta prove that you've been fucking butts to earn earn every, I don't know. Coins? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like randomly triggers every like few butts you fuck, you know? You, you, uh, you crack a block and you get some... <laughs> Get oh some, my god. <laughs> get some <laughs> FMB coin. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, I guess that's what it is. Wow, you just came up with a whole new concept for mining cryptocurrencies, Age. I'm very impressed. I wasn't even trying. I wasn't trying to, <laughs> but... I just assumed that's what Steve Bannon must have wanted, I mean. Yeah? It's right up his alley. see that, yeah. Up his butt, yeah. 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 He didn't see either. Hey, what are those? those? Are those wild Jizkos? Oh, wait, those are the monkeys. No, those are the monkeys that we're supposed to be getting fuck juice from. Okay. Well, so that we So got, we, we didn't got, get the fuck juice We got mission. locked out of that quest. Yeah, we got locked out of the fuck because, juice quest. Uh, <laughs> because when we were landed on Tatooine, uh, we, were, we were supposed to, like, talk to Mission enough to, like, so that uh, someone, like, comes and is, and is, like, tells her that, uh, 
Lena, which is the chick her brother like ran off with, is like waiting to see her. Uh-huh. So then you go see her, and she tells you the Sand People have kidnapped her brother. Uh-huh. When you go there, you can rescue him. Um, because we killed all the Sand People already, that can't trigger now. Oh, um, the brother has a get-rich-quick scheme that is making monkey fuck juice. Okay. Which you use the, the pheromones, or the glands, or something like that, from these monkeys here to make that... And then he, like, rips you off, takes your money, and, like, leaves. If you, if you like, give him the quest items. Okay. And he just proves to Mission what a piece of shit he is. Right. And actually, Lena, who Mission hated, right, for, like, taking her brother away, yeah. she's actually the really nice one. Yeah. She actually is, like, super chill and, like, kind and, like, yeah, shows up and, and basically is like, yeah, he ripped me off, too, as soon as we got to another planet. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, you can't get that over now? It's me. I've, we have to have Jolene with uh, us. Oh. Yeah. Jolene. Jolene. <laughs> He's got cataracts, Jolene. <laughs> <laughs> I got glaucoma. <laughs> I got glaucoma. Ah, so old. I can't see shit. <laughs> So glaucoma hurts, right? I want to deal with glaucoma. Why do they give you weed if you have glaucoma? Um, I assume it must cause some pain. Eye pain sounds rough. Yeah, it's not yeah, just eye pain all the time. Yeah, that sounds pretty. I don't really bad. know, to be honest. I, I don't, don't know that much about glaucoma. I know, I know, yeah, getting something in your eye hurts. Oh yeah. fuck yeah, it does. So, but that's all. That's the only eye pain I've experienced. Sometimes, oh, when I turn the light on in when the that morning. When cum gets in your eye. <laughs> no, but when I'm like... When I no skull fucks you? Oh God, when I need to... <laughs> you need to get fucked. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> but no, when you... Do you when... just like hold the dome up in front of your face? <laughs> you have to lift it up off the ground. It's probably a struggle for it to get up there. <laughs> Or does this sort of climb on top of you when you're, like, waking up? God, all I was going to say is when you turn the lights on in the morning. And there's a gnome like, sitting <laughs> no. on your face? That's a horrifying thing to wake up to, dude. <laughs> you turn the light, light on and the gnomes oh my scatter God. like cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck you guys. You get, like, a gnome paralysis demon. <laughs> Just a bunch of gnomes of, like... Crowded around your bed, they're all like got their dicks out and they just fly, fly the cracks in the walls as soon as you turn the light on. Fuck you. And then, like you know, in, the, in like the shining when like the blood comes out of the walls, except it's cum coming out of the walls. Oh god, <laughs> ew! Oh, no, no. no. Oh, I just, oh. Gnomes are that. That's got to be terrible for my drywall, dude. You telling me the gnomes? Yeah. You telling me gnomes are coming in, in in my fucking in my fucking interior walls? Yeah, man, remember, remember that scene in Evil Dead Two? The walls just start spraying. No, yep. dude. No, dude, that's terrible. That's man. They're gonna like, ruin my insulation. Like, your insulation is gnomes, Alex. <laughs> no, it's yeah. not, dude. You, you tell me your colon has not just been insulated yep. by gnomes. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. What were you actually going to say? All I was saying is, like, I haven't experienced a lot of eye pain in my life. Right. When you turn the lights on in the morning and you're right. not ready for right, it. Right, right. That haven't adjusted yet. Yes, that and getting like an eyelash in your eye are like the only eye pain that I right. know of. So I don't know, like, but like I can imagine, like, like something like that, the eye pain could be pretty severe. Like if it's right. something in your eye, like something's wrong with your eye. Like right. I don't, but I don't know that. That does seem like it would hurt. Yes. That's the only point I was trying to make. <laughs> Nothing about gnome dicks or how my walls are filled with gnome cum or anything like that. <laughs> I mean, it's not fun when you're like riding your bike and like, like a bug flies. Yeah. That's all I was trying to say. Fair point, man. Fair point. I'll give you that. Okay. All right. Well, that's the only point I was trying to make. <laughs> <laughs> Not the only point you were trying to take. Thank God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous.
Jones. <laughs> Even when it's just, it was just me and Alex last week, I started He was getting in on the gnome it. shit, dude. Yeah, me and Michael will do it when you're not even here. <laughs> I, I bet you guys do. I, that doesn't surprise me in the least. I like Michael likes bringing up. So. I look forward yeah, to the I'm day right. when we get all, all four, four of us. us. I yeah. know. Can you believe that hasn't happened yet? Like, at all? We just haven't. That just hasn't been a stream. We just have never done that. Yeah, that the is kind of surprising. Yeah. All right, now that we got... Whoa. What, what, what was the name again? It what? The old, uh, the, what did you call the old dude again? Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee. Oh, Jolly, Jolly Bee. Jolene, yeah. Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee. We can open yeah. up that forest field and go, there's, there's two more quests down there. That one hell of a jungle gym up there. I know. I can't, I can't wait to see what this looks, this planet looks like in the, in the you think remake, the, dude. Do you think the Chewbacca's, like, swing around up there? Man, that's racist. You can't just call them the Chewbacca's. <laughs> <You can't. laughs> to be honest, I think it sounds less offensive than Wookiee. Is did they choose the name Wookiee or is that like given I think to so. them? Okay. I think that's just what they call them. Called. They call themselves it's Wookiees. It's just Cookie but with a W. Yeah, man, they take big dookies. <laughs> God, man, how did you think they got a lot of dingleberries? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> you probably got to bring, like, a fucking hedge clipper into the bathroom yeah, with man. you. <laughs> it can't be sanitary. No, I doubt it, dude. Isn't there, like, a communal hedge clipper, or, is, or does everyone have, yeah, like... it's like Rogue, dude. They all use the sanitary <laughs> hedge clippers. <laughs> to cut the dingleberries out of their fucking asper. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I would imagine after like hot wing night or something, you're. <laughs> <laughs> that's a scary thought. Oh, that's terrifying. Dude, your ass would just be glued shut. Like. <laughs> that's an amazing, what horrifying sentence. This is it'd be it'd like. be like if you dropped a gallon jar of honey on like a shag carpet. The shit bikes like, don't want not shit good. anymore after yeah. they saw that. <laughs> See, this is why you never catch Bigfoot in the Southwest. This is why people probably don't want us playing Star Wars games. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why don't you see Bigfoot in the Southwest? Because of all the spicy food. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, you probably can't handle that Tex-Mex. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Bigfoot's up to, man? What's not, he been? Not existing. What he's? What's he been? <laughs> what he? <laughs> I think he's got like a foot fetish website going. Uh, right now. He's I like, just he's like a big star on OnlyFans. What he's do you definitely think? popular in Germany. <laughs> I just like. What do you think he's doing during COVID times? Do you think that's really affected his life? Do you think he needs a mask? You think he's got it's Omicron? Probably, <laughs> it's. I, I would. I honestly. Let's just be logical here. I think Bigfoot's life would be easier, man, if people can't go outside. He has a lot of... He could, he probably was able to wander into town for the first time in his life, and no one was there to see it. How funny would it be if we found Bigfoot and he had died of COVID? <laughs> <laughs> the Kron got Bigfoot! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Go? Yeah, I, I hope that's what happened, dude. That would be an amazing How amazing? They're talking about the fucking UFOs. The yeah. government is nonstop talking about these UFOs, dude. It's true. How funny would it be if they found out that Bigfoot was the origin of COVID? <laughs> what, they finally, the finally tracked down the, finally tracked down whatever animal supposedly it started with. They're like, Bigfoot. <laughs> I mean, it could be a Yeti, right? They actually got in. In mythology, they supposedly have those over there. Yeah, that's oh, true. Wait, okay. I think. And, you know, if you want to go on giant monkey cryptids, that would actually be a better place for such a creature right. to be, given that there actually was a species of giant monkey things that lived there. Gigantopithecus. That's what it was hmm. called. There we go. Big, like, nine foot tall, girl looking motherfuckers that lived up in the Himalayas. More Mandalorians. Sweet. So, that was, so the side quest on this planet was to, uh, uh, was, ba this is basically, there's like several groups of Mandalorians here, um, and we need to, uh, basically disarm ourselves, walk around, and they will only attack when we're, like, totally unarmed. Because huh. hmm. these ones apparently are cowards. 
Oh, okay. So we have to do that to get them to... Huh. How, why did you not take... Why did you is that like an there? Easter egg sort of thing, or is that explained that you have to do that at some point in the game? Oh, no, that's just a straight-up quest. There's the, there's the Wookiee that was like, hey, there's fucking... Man. Okay, best of life. <laughs> For some reason, there's not a lot of... A lightsaber. Docks. There we go. Hey, hey, now he's got a red one too. Nice. Hey, these guys don't seem worthy of the Mandalorian if they're attacking the Let's make this quick. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's this idea that because of like how great their fall was, there's like roaming meetings of them and they all kind of speed up. So, like, you're. There are, there are like groups of them that have like a like, Part of why Candorus is working alone, right? Mm. And, and also just like. I bet he wouldn't like these dudes. Oh, hell no. I like how that dude's just standing back. Yeah, that's just cool. <laughs> Hey, he's a boyerist, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is his kink. He likes watching other people play. Oh, did you just fart? Uh, <laughs> I can see why it looked like that, though. Yeah, it came right out of his Yeah, it did. Well, I mean, sure, let's go with that. That's <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you drink monkey fuck juice, dude. You got the fucking... You got the fucking stank for this. It turns out you actually got the monkey fart juice. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta read more closely, Six. Let's see. Well, yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, I know you had that. Uh, the the. You know, very entertaining um, cryptocurrency video to show us. <laughs> do you uh, do you have any anything else that happened this week? Any any noteworthy uh, events? Hmm. Not really that I saw. No. I think it's a pretty there. pretty boring week. Yeah, you're stuck inside quite a bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. COVID scares you know. Right. Never know when you could get it. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of disappointed that I haven't gotten it, just to, like, get it over with. So you could go on, like, a ventilator? <laughs> no, so I could have immunity that's better than the vaccines. Oh, more Mandalorians. But you could have, like, a ventilator, too. Yeah, that's not really happening with Omicron. Well, I mean, I didn't say you had to catch Omicron. I mean, what, I'm going to catch one of the ones that Omicron's wiped out. Or you could catch you one get, like, that's, like, shit long or something. <laughs> shit long? Is, is that what those shit bots have? I think, you see, is that, is that the real, uh, is that the real, uh, symptom that they've got going on? I'll just, I mean, you know, if you keep on huffing shit so much, Sage, I mean, you're about, <laughs> to, get you shit, about? You're about to get shit long, dude. Who's huffing shit? Sages. Am I? Yeah, he keeps a little Tupperware container in his fridge and goes over there and would cracks you, it Sage, open. Sage, goes up with that. That's yeah, dude, you know, yeah. This? Yeah, dude. prove this? He, 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 like, cracks it open just slightly so he doesn't, the shit smell doesn't all leak out. And he's right. like, <laughs> you gotta keep it all in. Yeah, well, I mean, you know. There's a limited amount of shit smell. Like, right, you right. Know, this, there's a decreasing amount of stank. So. <laughs> huh. You're a strange man. <laughs> you are, Zay. Apparently. I, 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 I haven't heard about this. I haven't heard about yeah. this, but all right. Yeah. You have some, like, German ancestor. I didn't know about <laughs> You are German, aren't you? Uh, I know I'm, I'm not a little... I've got a little bit of Jewish blood. A goblin is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm half goblin. <laughs> um, no, no. I, 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 I mean, I do, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm more Italian than anything. Oh, okay. Italian, most, mostly, and then, like, a little... There's, like, a little Irish, and that's not Jewish. Okay. That's it. Oh, okay. I mean, that's... I'm a butt. I mean, probably... A, there's probably everybody, most people everybody in this country Yeah. Is. I know I'm half Norwegian, and then I don't know what the percentage is on anything I'm on. So and I refuse to do those Ancestry.com type <laughs> shit because they own your DNA. Yeah, you do and that. they can sell it. 
<laughs> they can clone you and sell the clone. Yeah, they will, man. If oh, they can, man. they will. You have interrupted our hunt, interloper. The inhabitants of this world could do little against us. Yeah, because you only kill them when they don't have weapons. <laughs> training? What kind of training is that when they can't fight back? I think they're going after the like wild animals more the than tax. anything. The well, I, yeah, those little monkeys definitely can't fight back. No. Are they after the monkey fuck juice too? Oh shit, maybe Mandalorians want monkey. They're fuck trying juice. to they're trying to muscle in on the monkey fuck juice market. <laughs> I'm trying. We're trying to corner that shit, dude. Oh, no. What can I do? Shit. Got jelly bean. You got jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna run away. Yeah. Yeah, go with the Brave Sir Robin method. Once so we killed we killed Darth Bandon? Yeah, yeah he's dead. Who oh, should man. have been the boss at the end of the next planet. <laughs> well, you know, unless you can get like a Darth Band-Aid somewhere. <laughs> Did his buddies forget about him? I threw an adhesive grenade at them, so they're like stuck to the ground over there. Oh, that's handy. Smart. We have more of those? Oh. Oh. What kind of there adhesive is it? Oh, <laughs> I don't think it's common adhesive. I'm gonna stick the pages of books together. May, may, you <laughs> may, if you get enough of it, you'll basically be able to climb the walls like Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Alex, do you ever get like trapped on your bed from all the time? Do I ever get trapped under my bed? Yeah. No. So it can't be that much of an adhesive. Or is it just not gnome come under my bed? It's not on your bed, though. I, there's, there's no gnome come in my room. Yeah, I, you know, I if just we don't brought let, a black light in there, just, <laughs> don't, just don't let gnomes in there. I don't do it. Well, I, mean, I know you don't let gnomes in there. They keep hitting. That doesn't happen, man. <laughs> it, just, it hasn't occurred. So you do let gnomes in, though. I don't let them in. You sure? And they don't, they don't force their way in. They're just, you consent. You consent. I don't. I know. No, I don't. I don't. It's okay, Alex. Gnomes, you no, admit it. No, We're not going to judge you. Gnomes, I don't. I, I don't have gnomes. Gnomes haven't come to my house yet. <laughs> don't have to they haven't come to your house, but they have come in your house. <laughs> God. I haven't been on the outside much. <laughs> These gnomes are starting to infect other holidays, though. They I've seen though. a decent amount of that Valentine's. Well, I, yeah, I've seen a couple. Valentine's and I've seen one. a couple other Valentine's yeah, Christmas Day gnomes, gnomes things, Valentine's Christmas Day gnomes. gnomes. I wonder if it's gonna be like Fourth of July gnomes. It looks like Uncle Sam, but a gnome. Probably. How would you feel about that one? Whatever, man. This country's already going down the tubes. Gnomes can only make it so much worse. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, good. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, right now, America probably deserves to be represented by gnomes. We have a gnome as president. Sure. Whatever, man. Can you be that gnome's vice president. No. Why not? Uh, no needs competent leadership to help with that. Well, this country isn't known for
connected? It is connected. Hello. Hello. Testing. There you go. There you oh, go. Wait. Testing, testing. Oh, are we good? Yes, we're back. We're okay, back. okay, cool. Cool. <clears throat> awesome. We're, right. we're live. Just a momentary loss in audio there, but we are now good. What do you think about uh, Austria bringing a team back? Who? For the, co the COVID? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. For they, the should, they should be the people that are most fucking careful about having camps, <laughs> man. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, the people really, like, uh, they're not super concerned about... There being camps? <laughs> or just, like, the precedents they're setting or anything like that. Yeah, this is going to be the norm for you. Oh, you're about dead. Yeah, I don't think there's any way out of this. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Austria, Australia, fucking France. Germany is doing some of the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Got plenty of that shit going on in Asia. Yep. Yeah, man, it's not good. Was it Chicago? Uh, wait, what? What happened? Did I go back to the menu on accident? Must uh, have. Whoops. Yeah, what about Chicago? I know the schools are closing down. And well, it was, I kept trying to remember, I don't know if it was Chicago or somewhere else, but somewhere here has, like, patents to make camps. Oh, Washington State. Oh, oh that's what it was. Yep, okay. not patents. They passed legislation allowing them. Uh-oh. What, what, what? Something got Did the fucked. game start over? No, I like think the, the audio uh, save. Yeah, I'm trying to load the auto save, and it's, like, just booting back to the menu. Something's wrong with the auto save. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, I mean... Experimentally, uh, just load one of the regular ones. Now do the autosave. Uh-oh. See how it looks like the fucking menu screen there? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's not... We didn't really lose much. <laughs> okay, that's we, okay. I mean, we might oh, have to good. fight those Mandalorians over again, and okay. that's, that's okay. sure. that, that was momentarily... Uh, yeah. Oof, scary. Not good. Yeah. Considering always, how long this game is. <laughs> always have multiple saves. That's yeah. yeah. Especially for janky old school crap like this. Yep. It's definitely a problem. Alright, well We gotta fight the Mandalorians again. Yeah. Whatever, except what? for the boss, they weren't that hard. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's nice. Of course we have to go back and get Jolene. Yeah, well here, what do what do you guys think? Do you, should I just maybe I just do that? Like on my own time later. Do you want? Do you sure. guys want to start Manon now, and then I'll just do that off screen. So it's, it's, yeah, you know, it's not, it. yeah, whatever you want to. Do. I assume yeah, you weren't we'll even going to get more than like a congratulatory chance to threaten someone after you killed that dude. And and, and honestly, more for the experience points okay. ultimately. But it will be fine, especially since Bandon is dead now. I mean, we're not going right. to have that. We're not going to have much that gets in our way. When yeah, Brandon's not going anywhere at this point. No, no, he's. <laughs> Let's stop Brandon for sure. <laughs> All right, we'll go to Manon. 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 We do have to take uh, Jellybean with us to Manon, though. He's got okay. his like personal character quest in, on that plane. Uh, okay. Not a problem. We can do that. Hey, at this point too, we're I mean we're not done with the stream, but we're getting we're getting to the last like kind it's of section late. that we're gonna be doing. Yeah. Not too much longer. But uh yeah. And yeah, I hate when games are old games are I, that's part of why I like that so many games are being remade, because you don't have to deal with like glitchy shit. Well, I mean, you do in some new games, but like right. the games like this that are being that are having remakes, mm -hmm. I feel like those have been pretty safe. I would think it's so. More, it's more stuff like Battlefield and Call of Duty and like oh, big sure. Activision EA you know, products that seem Can you to imagine be... if Bethesda was doing remakes? <laughs> they wouldn't work. <laughs> Dude, how funny would it be if they like remade Morrowind and it was even jankier than 
Nah, that, yeah. I, but you know what? They prob That's exactly what would happen. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how it would happen. Well, Alex, uh, okay, so you you know about how Activision's been in just, like, it's just been a sh complete shit show for a while. Yeah. They've been, you know, all this scandal and all this stuff. Right, the Cosby oh, Suite. The Cosby Suite, mm -hmm. right? Uh, uh, Microsoft is just fucking straight up buying Activision. Oh, interesting, okay. For $70 billion. $70 billion. Yeah, Activision God stock damn. tanked, and so Microsoft uh, saw a chance to run in. And as soon as the deal is closed, the current CEO of Activision, who is everyone, like, hates, is, like, just being kind of kicked out. <laughs> Too bad he still got lots of money. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. Well, the problem is you can never take the money back. Same thing when they kicked Weinstein out of his company. Yeah. It's like they couldn't take his stock in the company away or anything like that. At least he's in prison still. Yeah, well, he might be out soon. Yeah. They're working on trying to get him out. I know. I'm just really hoping. It running, running the Cosby defense on. Yep. Yep. God, that's some bullshit. It is. It's ridiculous. Dude. The sad thing was Cosby had every reason to get out of jail. I just can't believe how stupid that prosecutor was. Well, they yeah, they, that's like, like he should have been in prison, but like the way that they fucking got him there in the first place they was just, so clearly like. It was like, made to get him out. Yeah, like, that's what it seems like. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, it just was nonsense. That's what happens when you're They just the waited until the heat died down enough to let him out. Like, that dude should not, should never have walked free. No. No, no Absolutely fucking not, dude. After the number of women that came forward? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same for Weinstein. That dude should mm -hmm. never walk free. I mean, just honestly, just fucking kill these guys. <laughs> at the, like, just fucking execute them right. at this point. Like, I'm so have fucking no old problem. already, anyway. Yeah. Like, they've done what they're gonna do. Let's yeah. just kill them. Right. And I'm not, like, usually advocating for, like... Capital punishment. Yeah, 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 I usually am not, but, like, I feel like there are maybe some special cases where we can... Oh, no, we're back at the menu. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is just actually that planet now. Okay. So here's one of the planets that, I mean, it maybe it was in, it might have been in one of the books or something before this sure. game came out, but was at least visually depicted for the first time here. Nice. So some stuff that you truly have not seen. Well, I mean, how can it compare to Naboo? Another vision, the force. Naboo hoo hoo. <laughs> Showing us the star maps of Naboo doo doo. <laughs> nah, fuck Naboo doo. You don't like Naboo? Naboo? I don't like Naboo. What's wrong with Naboo? Naboo? This kind of sucks. <laughs> Naboo is cool, dude. Yeah. Yeah. The ocean floor is vast. And I about Naboo is like that. Even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revenant Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will be. So this one's on like the ocean floor. The right. this, this is literally the entire planet is ocean, except mm. for a small port where we landed. So oh, it's a very shit. small area that anyone that's not native to this planet can actually like survive on. Interesting. So does that mean we're gonna have to like swim around with like a gun gun to guide us? Oh, uh, there's not gun guns here, are there? There are not. <laughs> there never will be. That's good. What about these selkies? What are they like? Uh oh, the sel they're uh, called selkaths. Okay. And they're actually cool, I think. I thought they were like the the, the creatures from uh, Celtic mythology. No, no, but I mean they're amphibian. I mean they are like fucking weird. Hmm. Fishmen creatures. I mean, that's what Selkies are. I mean, true. I mean, I just. I, I mean, I may, and maybe you could say they're the Star Wars version of it, I guess, but. I mean, I'm guessing that's probably where at least the name was inspired by. Yeah, yeah, I would be surprised if that, yeah, if Even there wasn't. They have any. nothing else in common. You Republic oh, people are so pathetic sitting around Grob. Oh, yeah. This planet is also like neutral ground. Uh oh. Um, it's, it's, it's Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Switzerland. Good, galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha. Well, Switzerland, you don't like laugh. You got the sip of their chocolate. The no, man, they're ripping you off. Where's the rest of that cheese? Yeah, where is the rest of that cheese? Yeah, the cheese off the yeah they're, they're cutting the cheese, dude. They're don't like... push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. There are, I swear, the Swiss are sitting on a pile of little whole, little like round holes, like little round like chunks of cheese that they're just like skimming off the top. Yeah. You pay the price, 
It's like coin clipping, but for cheese. Mad enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, I like this guy. To come by our enclave here, we have many, many ways to fulfill. We have a friend, this guy. I think so, actually. Seems like a good dude. So, so both the Republic and Sith have bases yeah. and are like walking around, yeah, you, interacting huh. with each other because the Cellcast have like refused to take a side and. Mm. Well, and also, okay, so here's oh, here's some star actual like Star Wars lore, you know, the, right. like the back to tanks, right? That they put them in to heal people. Yeah. yeah. And Star Wars, back to comes from this planet. Oh, okay. And so huh. it's a fucking re it's a resource that the Cellcath own and are in charge of, which is why both, uh, both like, you know, groups are like having to play nice with them here in the scenario while oh, they're at war. Oh, that makes sense. Huh. This is kind of like the dude of the. Well, of course, I'm always with the, the Iraq. The dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's cl it's probably the closest to that. I mean, there's always the vague. Uh, there's the there's the vague stuff about, you know. You know, uh, spice that gets brought up in the Star Wars movies, but like, you know, they never really prescribe that much of an importance to it. Right. So it's not. Actually, it's pretty much yeah. the so Bacta is probably the actually closer. The only place for us here anyway. But, Manas, the spice of Star Wars. You may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selk. The fish people like the Aquaman. Death to the Bim fans. <laughs> 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 uh, the only real thing they have to trade here. Oculto. Oculto. Or so I guess, or maybe so I guess it's not called Bacta. It's called Colt. Colto, but I mean, same, same. Right, right. That's good. I mean, Colto sounds less like a bodily fluid. Selling Colto to everyone that the Swiss dude. themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, Fuck it, Switzerland, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what this plan. So here's a new planet you've never seen, but it's Switzerland. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's underwater. Yeah, it's underwater Switzerland. Like Is there anything else you require? <laughs> I don't think that's a pretty high... Uh, they are a mountainous country. Go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. Yeah, all that would be left is like the Andes and the Himalayas if the Alps were underwater. Like, <laughs> yeah. And now he wants to talk. What does he want? What did you? Why did you decide to come with me? Got yourself a fast little ship. <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashuk is an Uller in mating season. Uh, I want to know what that looks like. <laughs> you wanted a ride on my ship. Be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? We're not on you the ship. The darn but, thing. Right. If you don't want to answer the question, just say so. <laughs> How impatient can one person be? <laughs> you must have driven your mother mad. All that gurgling and fussing. I mean, that's really what is babies do. That's true. <laughs> annoying. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that, breath like a panther. Sorry, did you annoy this person <laughs> endlessly too? <laughs> oh, 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 very funny. Is it my fault that some people are so easily annoyed? Yes. Like impatient little children with blasters. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, and all right, I tied an onion to my belt. <laughs> Just it was the style, style at the time. time. <laughs> <laughs> They used to say, give me five nickels for a B, because we called the dime a B, because it had a picture of a bumblebee on it. <laughs> but anyways, the point of the story is that I had an onion on my belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I miss when Simpsons was good. Is that how you traveled with this man? Just because someone has the force swirling about them doesn't always mean they have a great destiny. But it doesn't hurt to check it out. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. <laughs> this is the story of a point, old man. <laughs> <laughs> I have a point. I thought we were just talking about Andor. Something wrong with your attention span. Let's see. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he literally <laughs> straight up doing I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I that Andor's destiny couldn't. Uh, as boring as the story. <laughs> no, if you keep interrupting, it will take even longer. <laughs> Have you no patience at all? How did you get as old as you are anyway? I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. 
Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, <laughs> they were a nasty lot led by... But they tied onions to their belt. <laughs> Tall fellow, big teeth. Grant has us hauled up to the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. And or killed Krat, I take it. Of course he did. Haven't you been listening? It was not in the way you'd probably expect, though. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free yeah. me now. I'm oh, not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's <laughs> neck. I told the boy he should so his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too. Could have just been gurgling noises. Well, no matter what. Finally, Grant has enough of Andor and tosses. Hey, he really has a fucking story, yeah, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next <laughs> thing, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics, and I run. Barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion, Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recover. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? We're falling into a reaction. <laughs> 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 now that's the important I relate an exciting tale, and do I get thanked for it? No. No, it's all me. Oh, I actually me, did learn me. something interesting this week. Anyway, go on. Oh, yeah, Before what'd you learn? Dry, it will make you um, so, the Soviet shoot. Union... Oh, shoot, I guess away. <laughs> the Soviet Union, back in the day, uh, they were looking for a way to um, show do dominance over, like, the Arctic sea routes, right? Okay. And so, they wanted to create a string of lighthouses, like, along the, the coast of northern Siberia. Whoa, what is that guy? That's a Selkath. Ah, oh, cool. Oh. Actually, I think that's actually one of the cooler Star Wars aliens. Yeah. That actually looks like a convincing alien. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, so they built these, they were going to build these lighthouses all along the, the coast of Siberia. I don't know, like, in the Arctic, right? Right. But they didn't have the logistics in place to actually, like, you know, staff and fuel these lighthouses. So they came up with a solution, which was nuclear lighthouses. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> doesn't don't know if that's gonna work. They built like 130 of these lighthouses, and each one was gonna have a nuclear battery inside of it that would allow it to be to run uh, like automated. So they could give everyone on ships cancer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, when these things were first built, they were actually quite, you know, they were pretty decent. You know, they didn't have any problems or anything. And they were pretty well maintained, right? Right. But then the Soviet Union collapsed. Right. And suddenly nobody was maintaining these lighthouses anymore. And a bunch of them just fell apart. And, like, the batteries fell into the sea. And just, like, poisoned everything around them. Uh, a bunch of them got broken into. And people made off with the batteries. Which uh, can actually be used, potentially, to produce mm. nuclear weapons. Okay. Oh, I think we can also sell this guy the Giz, because... Oh. What does he do with them? He doesn't Probably want them. What does he do with them? I just, I mean, might fuck him, I don't know. I'm not comfortable <laughs> selling them to him. Yeah, I don't him. want him to do that to those things. Then. Oh, no, he doesn't want them, he doesn't they want them. too fast. No. You have my condole. They're special, they don't reproduce like the others do. <laughs> 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 oh, that's amazing. That's the best possible use for those. I'm glad we didn't kill them. Yeah, I'm glad uh, we didn't I did, them. I don't think I even remembered. They're, they're not for, they're they're for sale. sale. They aren't free. <laughs> and Andy's giving us money for it. Andy's giving us money. That's amazing. So they're basically dribbles. Yeah, just worthless pieces of shit. <laughs> Which triples are. Yeah. But, uh, so a bunch of these things got stolen. And, um, you remember back when there was that crisis in uh, Georgia where they were going after the Chechens? Yes. yes. There was actually a very real fear that some uh, Chechen uh, nationalists had acquired some of these batteries and were going to try to use them to make oh, uh, damn. Get their weapons. Oh, okay. Up. That ended up not being the case, but uh, at the time, like, even, like, uh, the 
you add them with them that shit. And um, the U.S. claims that it found schematics for these nuclear batteries in caves in Afghanistan. So it's possible that uh, some of the Afghan terror groups may have tried to obtain them. Oh, make shit. dirty bombs with. And yeah, that's probably that's why terrifying. it's not a good idea to make yeah. these. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and so uh, a whole bunch of these things are just unaccounted for today. These batteries. Jesus. Some of them awesome. Went, some of them are somewhere in the ocean. Some of them are in are on the black market. Uh, a couple of them ended up in the hands of some hunters who were like, "Oh, these are warm. Let's just keep these and like sleep on them." <laughs> oh my god. Are, you, are we serious? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. So did they have like horrible radiation poisoning? Oh, they they definitely did. Nah, Not a good time. I assume they're all dead now. They are very dead. Okay. No, it's yeah. seems like the natural conclusion. <laughs> Yeah, and like a bunch of these lighthouses are still kind of like they are giving people cancer. Yeah, they uh, maybe, we should, maybe we should get rid of them. <laughs> Russia moved some nukes, um, like forward deployed some nukes to uh, an island in the Arctic, fairly close to Alaska. Oh yeah. Yeah, Russia's really uh one to, well, they're, they're flex to put, on flex on us a little bit. Aren't they trying to like put like weapons in Cuba right now? Are they? They yeah, we're talking about it, right? Putin did say that they it's there that if the U.S. Um, doesn't back down over Ukraine, that they could deploy nukes to Venezuela or Cuba. But that's how we almost got a nuclear war last time. Yeah, well, we're that's how we that almost was literally the closest we've ever been to annihilation as a species. Well, they yeah, well, they're you know, playing this nuclear is nuclear two chicken. Two <laughs> yeah. yeah, Cold two War electric two electric boogaloo. Boogaloo. Yeah. Except this time, Russia and China are on the same side. <laughs> nope. Zach. <laughs> and China actually has meaningful military that. capacity this time, so that's great. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. has none. Uh, <laughs> well, well, I won't say less. none, but significantly less than before. We definitely don't have the edge we did. No. Yeah. I mean, some of the well, stories we've heard about how bad, like, some mm -hmm. of the requirements are getting to, like, be in the military yeah. now. It's like... Yeah. Pathetic laws of pathetic fish don't <laughs> concern me. To be fair, the Russians don't exactly have the edge they do. But they do that. Cult of smuggling is punishable by death. Permit. Keep the peace. Because they're swift. Reacted very harshly to people who jeopardize our neutral status. <laughs> That's it? Only two laws? Right, special laws. They really are. Uh, Alright, I'll just... I'll, we've avoided it every other time. Plus, I'll we like, just got 100 credits for selling it. That's true. I can't believe you told them they're not going to reproduce. I guess they like them, they just don't like them. Well, they want, he wanted exotic pets. animals for oh. like almost like a zoo, I think. Okay. But he didn't want those because they breed so goddamn quickly and then they get out of control. But This is, is going to be like that Simpsons episode of the frogs in Australia. Those cane toads? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, that is a huge problem oh, in Australia. Hey, this is a new world. Those cane toads are pretty tough. They've uh, they've taken down some of Australia's other renowned horrifying creatures. <laughs> Didn't they introduce some sort of snake trying to get rid of the frogs? Yeah. They introduced the frogs to get rid of something in the first place because cane toads aren't native to Australia. And then right. yeah, I think you're right. I think they brought some snake in, and that didn't work out either. Yeah, I thought it was they they wanted they had some sort of slug that was eating all their crops, so they brought in the cane toads. Yep. And then the cane toads just took over, and then they brought in some sort of like corn snake or something. But then the snake didn't actually eat the frogs and just was eating other Australian wildlife. Yep. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, Australians are not great at wildlife management. <laughs> Tried to build that big, dumb, rapid-proof fence. I mean, ever since they lost the emu war. Yeah. Going there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things haven't been going well for them since then. Yeah, yeah you look at that. Just an entire planet. That's, Over a swim. Nothing that's but ocean. wild, dude. So do we get like an underwater breathing apparatus or something? We do get like a suit, like a diving suit. Okay, that sounds fun. Julie, may I have a moment? Oh, now they want to talk to each other. Right. Yep, I figured it was a room, guys. Until we had the whole come back to the order discussion. Well, I guess there's no avoiding it now, so let's get it over with. 
I know you have issues. Can we convince him to become a Sith but instead? A Jedi, I wish we could just turn him into a Sith. Without the guidance of the Council, how can you avoid falling to the dark side? Well, I've managed to avoid it the last 20 years or so. Besides, light side, dark side, they don't mean the same to me as they do to you. I don't see in absolutes. Uh, of course Malak isn't evil. He's just misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stop Malak as much as anyone. But I don't have to join the Order to do it. Look at Karth or Kandorus. They're with us in this quest, but they aren't Jedi. The capacity Man, for good or Karth. evil, like the Force itself, is an all-living creature. Uh, I can't wait for it. Belonging to the Jedi Order... I can't, I can't wait for it. Any <laughs> when we get to some of the stuff at the end. <laughs> I see you are uh. quite adamant. No doubt you have ample time to think on this during your long seclusion. I guess it was foolish of me to think I could sway your position so easily. Yeah, I'm old and stubborn. But I appreciate the effort. And you ramble. From now on, <laughs> you can just think of me as any other non-Jedi in our little group. With a lightsaber. And force powers. Alright, you guys are done blowing each other. Oh, it's like a distribution center. Oh. What are they distributing? Ah, uh, Colto. Colto. That's all they. That, I mean, that's yeah. That's like the whole planet. It's basically, just, as far as like, economically goes, it's kind of dedicated to the single resource. Right. Saudi Arabia looks fake. Well, yeah. I mean, mix Saudi Arabia and Switzerland together, and I guess it's kind of what Manan is. Ugh, Hopefully, what a less terrible sense. place. <laughs> I mean, these fish people all seem to look generally alike gender wise i don't think there's really too much differentiation between them they don't make like one group of fish people that are like bales or something no sorry <laughs> it is you what the fuck I, I need your help laura of all the people someone from his past this is his like I didn't. character Nobody quest or whatever you were, not even but i heard this i don't mention no, I don't you and your him. friends the Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? That's horrible, Jolie. Sunray has been arrested. Oh no, not Sunray. So, part of this murder. planet is like a straight up, like, you have to just, it's not even it's combat, mistake, really. It's just like, you have to investigate like a murder. murder. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh shit, we're like oh, Sherlock no, Holmes in the 20 seconds. We're Sunray now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that it's, it, 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 that's a deep cut reference at this point, <laughs> isn't it? Like, not many people remember that, right? Like, the one, which is uh, probably better for the people who don't remember it. Alex, do you remember that? I don't know what she is. Don't know? Oh my Sherlock god. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. Sherlock, century. Sherlock Holmes, Holmes in the 22nd, 22nd century. century. You don't know? <laughs> we are so pulling that up on YouTube oh after this. God, what the fuck is that? <laughs> don't worry. We'll, we'll investigate. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so sorry. Oh, hey, it's the son that we killed on, on the last one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they say, I mean, we've, these yeah. faces get reused so much. That's another thing I will be very excited about in the remake, right? Is all the NPCs not we'll looking. more than three faces. Yeah, <laughs> there'll be more right. than three sure different people. Yeah, there, might, there might be like five. Yeah, yeah. There That'd be, be nice. That'd be nice. No, there's an old white guy. Old black guy, I'm in the that guy, right. right now. like young, really white British guy? looking guy, white yeah. guy, yeah, really British guy, looking white guy, racially ambiguous guy. Right. Yeah, there's racially Other ambiguous guy. guy. <laughs> 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 then there's then there's then there's, uh, there's woman that we just saw earlier. Yeah, um, other woman, yeah. racially yeah. ambiguous woman. <laughs> yeah, there's the one black Six. woman. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, he's racially ambiguous guy. This is a very easy joke to make. Only Arb. Oh, okay, so these are the prison cells. There's even fewer cell cap things. I mean, there's one cell cap thing. <laughs> yeah. They don't, they they don't even come in different colors like the weird turd head dudes do. Turd heads is the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, with the tentacles. Yeah, yeah. 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 The Republic well, this is their like courtroom. The peace of Otto City, Your Honor, but the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. 
I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic Does this feel like our current capable, election to you? <laughs> well, I guess not current election, but... These two seem much more reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Simply because they want Yeah, I can vote for the Sith. Yeah. I, hardly call I mean, at least they seem to have an actual economic right. policy. That's true. cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. I'm with the cell cap here. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you guys are on the Swiss side here. I mean, this seems like a pretty well, reasonable sort of law. Yeah, I don't like just because somebody taunts you doesn't mean that you have no, to get I in a fight. I agree too. I just. Look, yeah. look, I don't like this with Swiss, yeah. so this game is making me agree with them. That tells mm -hmm. you something. <laughs> Considering how like yeah. hard it is to build up money, I feel like in this. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I did every little thing and really took my time, I mean, we could build up a lot more money. But we're not trying to do every little thing. Right. Time, we are man. computer use up. Probably no. Jobs, like hacks and bangs. Yeah, dude. It's not a thing. Like North Korea. <laughs> yeah. Shell car. Means of offer on citizens. The letter of Jimmy Grievances, another party, you should speak to me. You should first have to the embassy before pressing formal charges. Uh, if you investigate the murder case. Yep, now we can go into that jail. More like a lawyer? Yeah, kind of. Sort of like Phoenix, right? Yes. <laughs> Let's go with that. Let's go with Phoenix, right? <laughs> I suppose your Sunry's only hope. We have to at least try to help him. Thanks, off screen man. <laughs> now, the dark side choice is more or less to just kind of sabotage the mission and get this guy fucking like executed. <laughs> We have a limited amount of time to investigate and form a defense. I advise you to use it wisely. Oh, we aren't going to do that. <laughs> the charged murderer is being held in the Anto City. Due to his crippled status, he's being kept in a solitary cell. The have seen the killing and are being detained at the hotel in question. Maybe the hotel has now been informed. Uh, she's found dead of a blaster wound with an incriminating Republic Medal collection in her hand. This information has been uploaded to your data pad. We wise to review all information for the trial. The question of the witness. The evidence in this case is heavily stacked against him, I believe. What's doing to absolve him. seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. I mean, I just... Uh, offer all my dad good luck as my final missive. Yeah. All right, now can we just tell him we're ready without <laughs> having done any, done any investigating? It's not even look. I like. I think that's the dark side option, more or less. Okay. Uh, oh no. Uh, I guess not yet. Well, try questions about. Okay. Oh, they're here. Questions about the trial. <laughs> yeah, right. What do you think of them? Damn it. Yeah, not yet. All right, I guess we probably hmm. got to at least talk to him or something. Yeah. Well, we'll we can ask him some questions. Okay. But we're definitely not going to clear this guy's name. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely not what we're here for. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like Manon actually might be one of the shorter worlds. Yeah? Mm. What do you do here besides this? Well, so the star, the star map star is map. all underwater. Okay. Like on the ocean floor. Um, so there, I mean, there's like a decent amount of quests, like, down. There's some facilities that we're going to go to. But, uh, has been taken into consideration without that, without a big final boss to, like, fight at the end of that, it's not going to be a lot. You know, Frogware should make, should make a Sherlock Holmes in the 20th century. Right? With creepy Watson yeah. following you around. I mean, that would actually be on point for that. For that. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I can't wait to make you watch this. Episode. Yeah, hope you're ready. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd Sherlock century. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. What the? Fuck? <laughs> I don't know about that, dude. Okay, that was suspicious. 
more sad. That's such a blatant area of criminal case of evidence would be left at the scene of the crime. And as the evidence, it does not have a replica, but still have, I guess, this crime. Sunray could well have lost it. It seemed much more improbable things happen. Hmm. Simply because it was real does not mean Sunray would have overlooked it being in Elasa's hand. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, what do you guys think? It is 9.13 currently. Yeah, it's getting pretty late, I'd we, say. We've, yeah, we've, I think. We've, 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 we've basically got onto the planet. We've seen Manon. it a little bit. Yeah. We have a quest to go on. Sure. I think this is a good stopping point. Yeah, probably. I think yeah. so, too. All right, cool. Okay, cool. And right. I think the autosave might genuinely be broken, so we're really going to have to be careful about making sure we yeah, manually, manually save as much as possible. Yep, for sure. Um, little janky games, man. Yep. Yeah, that's just, it's just a thing. For uh, sure. So here, what we'll do uh, is we'll just go stave directly outside of the jail, and we can go in and start questioning next time. Sweet. Good shit. Good shit. And honestly, I would be surprised if we didn't finish Manon on the next stream. Okay. I okay. think that's probably cool. there is a next stream. What? Matt, you're such a fucking pessimist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying it's happened a lot, but one of us couldn't right. make it. Well, that That's doesn't true. mean there won't be another one. I mean, I mean, the yeah. world could end. The world could end, Sage. Ulysses is right. That's a fair argument. But it's not impossible, I guess. All right. Let's just read real quick. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, get ready, Alex. You're in for a treat. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century? Hell yeah. Interesting. Alright. Well, that was a pretty solid one, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Made some progress. Got all the side missions where you had left out of the way. Except right. Except the one that bugged out. That's true, which yeah. I will go finish kind of on my own. Yeah, right, for right. sure. Uh, cool. Just because, but yeah. Alright. All right. Sounds cool. good. See you next time. Yep, see you. Bye.